Hello? Testing? Hello? Welcome, travelers. <laughs> Yo. Let me... Oh my god, this fucking thumbnail is abhorrent. Oh god, I have to change the description. You can't even, like, read that. Welcome, travelers. <laughs> RPG. This is all very new to me. We need some more wizards. <laughs> that wizard doesn't look particularly fitting. Oh, uh, yes. Welcome, Trev. Oh my god, he's got, like, filters on him. Alright, let me check the stream on my phone. Let's hear it. Just make sure it sounds juicy. <laughs> One moment, juicy. please. All right, I gotta, I gotta change the delay. Shoot, I was supposed to do that. I don't wanna have to restart the stream. Let me see, streaming. Where's the delay option? Is that even a choice? Yard there be treasure. Ahoy, ahoy matey. How long, message delay, how long do you want, uh, slow mode, no, we don't want any of that, slow mode, yar har fiddle dee dee, yar there be treasure, letter, <laughs> you made it, oh my dear goodness me, where's the music gone, music, yes, Welcome <laughs> to the to the spooky dungeon stream, dude. I'm so excited for this. I'm freaking hyped, dude. Look at this. Look at this one. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And the wizard's like, no, you can't possibly use that power here. <laughs> Yes. How you guys doing? It is midi medieval. Oh yeah. The medieval stream. Um. The crypt hand reciting its evil spells. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Dude, I'm so beyond hyped for this stream. I've been, I've been prepping. I've been in preparation. Oh my god, I didn't even... Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, I didn't even get my... I may not have... I may, I may not be able to use my... My legendary soundboard. Oh my god, that's so loud. Okay, we get it. Um, I was making a soundboard for this thing. But it, it might not be working fully. Or, well, as in, ready. Oh, wait, did I actually put the sounds in? Maybe I did. Maybe some of them will work? I can do a little testage. Let's do a little testage. 
I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Gotta wait for some peeps to pop in the stream. Not like I'm stalling, I actually do want to try to make sure all the sounds are working. Uh, ew, ew, ew. Hmm. Uh, so, hmm. Yeah, I guess they're not all set up yet. Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? It's a damn shame. Maybe while we're setting up, I could... Sh I could show off the soundboard while we're hanging out. Maybe. I don't know. Here, hang on, let me get rid of some of these other random things. Oh, also? <laughs> the chat's not working. <laughs> Which is fantastic. I literally set up the live chat and it's not working, which is absolutely awesome. Even though that's what that big box on screen is supposed to do. So I'm just going to close it. Classically. Chat broke? Yeah, the little chat window. Like, it's not. I never got it to work and or the subscription thingy. It just doesn't... It doesn't work. Yeah, it just doesn't work. I don't know. Delayed? Delayed? What do you mean? What do you mean seemed a little delayed? Oh, you mean uh, me? I'm delayed? Wait, what, what, what you talking about? Because this stream needs to be the opposite of delayed. Hmm. You saw the stuff in chat? Wait, 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 wait. It was working? Oh my god! There it is! No way. Wait a minute. That's not possible. Wait, I didn't know it was working. I thought it was dog shit and not working at all. Wait, that's totally pog. Guys, that's totally pog champ. Um, so letter, if you're curious, because Wayward already knows what's <laughs> gonna go down. Because it was mostly his idea. But, um, Letter, if you're curious. This is, this is a, this is a story. St this is a story. Um, what the hell am I trying to say? Like, experience. Hold on, I need to make sure chat doesn't go away after 30 seconds. Let me change that. Chat. It's like an RPG. By my design, of course. Show messages permanently. Check. Save. Okay, hopefully the chat stays permanently. I don't know if I have to do anything else. I'm going to minimize and then open it again and see if the messages stay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see if those stay. I'm not sure. YouTube latency. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't, I don't really know. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, we can probably get started. I mean, pretty much. Um, Let me see here. So I can show you guys something while we're hanging out, at least. Okay, music. Take a chill pill, bro. Music, take a chill pill. Minimize all these. Welcome travelers. We can keep welcome travelers. And chat. Uh, Tumblr background. All right, so here's what we're working with right now. At the current moment. Here's what we're working with at the current moment. Um, Let's see. So this is Game Maker 8.1, if you've never seen it before. <laughs> and I made this cute little, like, soundboard. Let's see if it actually works. Might be really loud. And it's freaking out because it's not fully finished. But can you guys hear that? Ancient technology from a more civilized age. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear these um little sound effects when I click them. The snare. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like they all have a different sound. 
ignore all this shit. <laughs> They're all supposed to have a different sound. Um, but I never like put the sounds in properly. So, cause like I tried putting some in and then it like didn't like that. Like some of them were like totally busted, broken, crazy mode. Um, but the sounds are here. So like, for example, like this one, the spooky sound, right? I was going to make it so like, oh, this demon, like when he, when you click it, he plays the spooky sound. I'd assume GameMaker 8 play, doesn't play nice with the MB3s. Yeah, it's probably like something like that. Like, just the way, um, you know, just the way it like, yeah. Uh, so let's see. Let's try, let's try putting some of these on. Horse is correct. I don't really know why it's flickering though like that. Oh, prop. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't put um. When it's created, it it uh changes its costume to the horse and doesn't move. Um. Old soundboard, yeah. Ancient soundboard from more civilized age. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Good, it's Good Friday. Uh, and then when you click this, it's supposed to like change briefly to. I don't. We don't actually. Who cares? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna code all that. Code, quote unquote, code. I dig the chefed up soundboard. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I, I I just wish I had things more finished, but I mean, I may as well like you know, it's it's not the end of the world. This is just the first iteration of the experience. So it's not the end of the world if it's, you know, not already. Some people don't even know it's it's a thing, considering that I stream Left 4 Dead and not. <laughs> I'm a role-playing game streamer. But hey, there's a first for everything, right? Horse. There's two horses, and then there's some ice. Uh, Let's see if these work. Ice. And then it changes to ice. Let's save and see if that works. Let's see if this soundboard really bops. Let me pause the music real quick. Okay, so some of these are not flickering anymore. So, oh sweet, that actually is really cool. <laughs> it still makes that noise. <laughs> it's so stupid. And then I have Listen to that ice. Damn. That really gives me the chills. That one's freaky. It's a demon breathing. If you couldn't tell. And then these will have to be worked in. This, I gotta get thunder. Thunder, baby. Thunder. Anyway, I'll save that for now. Okay. Close you. Dude, the problem is, like, no, <laughs> nobody, like, anyone who, like, comes to usually click on, like, Left 4 Dead is gonna see this stream. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, no, I'm not clicking on this fucking, like, fucking brain rotted shit. But that's, it's all good. It's, it's chill, I guess. We gotta bait and switch them. Yeah, we really do. Left 4 Dead 2. Nah. Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dungeons. Wait, that's funny. <laughs> that's what it should have been called. Left 4 Dungeons. That would have been great. <laughs> Does, can you So can you see the chat on the screen? I guess you can. Yeah, that's cool. Now that's totally wicked cool. Um, but yeah, okay. So the plan, kind of, kind of, is um, is to like have the everyone like have a, has a character, right? They have like a character. Not maybe everyone, but like there's controllable characters, right? And in the story, you like play as them, 
that was kind of the, that's kind of the, the rough gist of the plan, you know? Um, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this before, so I'm excited, though. Let me move my keyboard and get into gaming position. This is Diablo music, if you, if you didn't know. If you're unfamiliar with this one. Miss that one. Try another. Alright. It'll come traveler. it. Actually, we don't really need a timer on screen yet. I have a lot of tabs. Earlier, I had like 500,000 tabs open. and It was actually like terrifying. Um, literally. Oh shit, right? I need to get this special tab open. This very special tab open. Wait, what? I think you're really gonna like how the, the the game itself like plays. If we actually get to the game itself, but you know, obviously, we gotta get there. All right, this wizard definitely can be chilling in the corner. That's 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 a guarantee. Do you? Get, how cool would it be if like the spellbook hand is like behind? Like, he, like, it looks like he's, like, controlling it. The spell book. Oh, yeah, that, that, now that looks cool as fuck. It's kind of big, though. Medieval spell. Like this, maybe? Like, right above Chet? How do I make it look like Chet's, like, coming out of that? Chat onto the screen. I don't want it like up in, in the business though. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Who actually cares? Who asked? Okay, anyway. So, um, Wayward. Since you were technically first, first, um, why don't you start us off with the creation of the character this is the fallout new vegas part of the stream kind of he was first to get here letter he's also first in line because it was kind of his idea all right wait, wait i'm putting you in coach but um actually you guys can both do this it's totally it's not like there's in any order but um wait, uh, uh wayward you can get the final say if this stream sucks, it was all my fault, basically. It was all me. I don't know about that, but... Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> no. Okay, ready? So, you have to make the character. Um, uh, we need a couple things from you. We need um, some feats. Otherwise known as strengths. We need... Um, some weaknesses. Or, uh, what is that term? Um, what is that term? B gu gu not guiles. Um, <laughs> shit. Vices. Yes. Some vices. We're gonna need from you a catchphrase for this pan fantastical character. And then, <laughs> um, oh, letter says he was first but didn't speak. Ooh, drama in the chat! <laughs> drama in the chat! Um, no, you guys can, like, both do this, kind of. It doesn't, it actually really doesn't matter. Because <laughs> the characters will probably, like, you, you kind of, okay, so the idea is that, like, everyone kind of will get to kind of control everybody, I think. That's, like, 
kind of the plan. Like, you can kind of control whoever. But there might be, like, teams, depending on how many people show up. But if not, if it's, like, just you guys, then it can be, like, you each have a character or something, right? I just would feel bad putting all the pressure on two people in chat to, like, drive the, the, the story or the game. But, you know, don't don't stress too much about it. Like, if you have to go or do something or just want to watch, you can. I'm sure we can make it work. Anyway, so we're going to have to have, obviously, a couple things here. Some classic stats. Legendary health pool. Legendary health pool. This is actually going to be your age. <laughs> age out of age is your hit points. So get ready for that. Reveal. Um, and then we're going to have um, some classic stats. I probably don't. Oh. I don't know how big or how bad the delay actually is. Where is this guy? Where were you? Dirty bastard. The music is just called Hell. Alright, Wayward. So you're going to need to decide like how like well first i mean the classics first i mean the classics hold on i have the stats right here i'm trying to find them start conjuring up in your brain in your brainoid um this character some ideas for this character this is your mana pool kind of <laughs> which will be um <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it can be like, <laughs> um, like how many days since like, like it, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, of a good <laughs> way to do the math. <laughs> like, like you're. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really think about that because <laughs> I was originally gonna have these be connected. I know we're already running into we're already running into lack of preparation drama. Um, but so you, you basically will have, like, these stats. Okay. And they sort of apply to, like, well, well, see, okay, never mind. They're just the ones that everyone knows. And I have them in a book, actually. In my own book. The Book of the Dead. One moment. You can't see this, but I wrote these little guides. They're more like guidelines than actual rules. <laughs> if, you know that, if you know what that's from, you get extra points. Okay, um, where's the freaking Dark Messiah soundtrack? This is all over the place. This is exactly how I pictured it, though. All right, so it's got the classic, it's got the classic ones, right? But it's gonna be a little different, you see. It's gonna be a little different. We got our decks, decks. We got our intelligence. This will this will just be half of this. Okay, that makes it easier. We have our charisma. We have some wisdom. This is just like classic D and D moment. A perception, and the lovely constitution. It'd be nice if those are all on the same screen. So I'm gonna move them up. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So what you have to do, um, basically, is you're gonna assign like the points to each one, right? So like, for example, um. You're gonna assign them, like, based on, like, um... Can I make a dancer? <laughs> okay, they're, 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 like, there you go. Okay, thank you. Finally, you're fucking talking! Jesus! Okay. <laughs> I'm messing around, obviously. 
Alright, can I make a dancer? With high dex and charisma. Okay, yes. So let's go like this. Um, we'll go, we'll go, uh, three. Uh, uh, two. No, I think we can do, uh, here, let's go like this. Three. <laughs> Narpler! Narpler! What's up, dude? This is a, this is a role-playing game. That's what this is. This is, this is like D&D &D meets, um, this is like, this is like, this is like half-baked D&D in like another dimension, basically. What's up? I'm glad you're here. This is going to be hopefully a fun one. Um, I'm glad you had Taco Bell and you're happy. I am very glad to hear that information. Okay, uh, what did you say? You said dancer with high dex and low strength and constitution. Okay, so you're weak. You're weak. Let's go negative one here. Constitution can be your worst stat. And then, oh shoot, I probably did this wrong. I think this is supposed to be two. Yeah, this is two. Tell me how this looks. You can change it if you want here. Two? You got, uh... Look, you got, uh, two ones, um, and a zero, basically. Jesus, this is the wrong music. This is battling boss music. Wrong. Okay. So, um... <laughs> yo, wayward. Where do you want these? You got one, a one, and um, a zero. One on wisdom and perception. Okay. One, one, zero int. Okay. Perfect. This is terrifying. This music is scary. I'm scared. What's your okay? Let's start filling out some of this other stuff. The Shalindar OST, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. We just do whatever the hell here. <laughs> Shalindar. Oh my God. We're making the character. Um. Okay. What are the uh? What's Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. <laughs> the, the horse noise. I'm, is that correct? I think it is. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. How do you feel about Carlos, Wayward? You get the final say on this character. Alright. Carlos it is. The <laughs> lovely Carlos. All right. <laughs> this is actually, this is actually not bad. You're quite dexterous. You whippersnapper. Very good. Everyone loves you. And you are quite have your wits about you. <laughs> However, you lack knowledge and strength. <laughs> And a relatively strong will body. Okay, your natural armor, since you suck, is one. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Anyway, what, um... <laughs> Carlos, you are weak and flimsy. Um, otherwise, he goes also by Carl. To friends, he is Carl. Okay, okay, we were, and also chat. What are some feats and strengths that Carlos, that Carlos has, and what are some weaknesses, vices, and then also we need a catchphrase. Carl. Yes, Carl. <laughs> Dude, the fucking, like, a horse noise. <laughs> What's the one that goes, dun, 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 dun. Run, dun, dun. Oh my god, that's fucking... Oh my god, that's Stronghold. How did I not think of that? How did I not think to play that? 
Once perfect. everything's oh, perfectly organized, I'll start working on my thesis. There aren't supposed to be ads on here. This one, bro. Okay, uh, let me see. Make him good dodger since the dance is very good, I think. Carlos should be buff, but no int. Yeah, he's got no int. He's got no strength, though. So we could rework some of that. He needs linguist. Multicultural. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Okay. so he's he's multicultural. He's, he's cultured. He's multicultured. He speaks many tongues. Dodger. Okay, so he's got he's got some sort of acrobatics. <laughs> Let me know if the music's too loud. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this guy's a beast. Carl. I need, I need a gif of Carl. I need a gif of Carl. Wait, hold on. Jimmy. Let me see if I can find one really quick. What? Why? What? What are these two crazy characters doing? Hold on, I got this gif that's kind of going to rock your world. I mean, sure. This is like visual overload. Should the other character be shaggy? Carlos needs to. Okay, okay. I'm thinking Carlos from Resident Evil 3. Carlos, my goat for real, infinite machine gun gamer. Carlos needs to be aver 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 avaricious. He dances to get that bag. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. The greed. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean by that. That's perfect, too. That's such a good vice. <laughs> that's so bugging bunny. <laughs> I mean, Shaggy could be our other character, too. Carl. He's multicultural. Quite acrobatic. But his powerful lust and greed is very strong. He needs one more. He needs one more vice. He can also have a third feat as well, if you guys want. But if you want a third feat, you also have to take a third weakness. <laughs> also, this can also include fears. And we could also theoretically have a, like, likes. What does Carlos like? That could be, like, two separate categories, technically. This looks like dog. This looks like dog shit. That's fine. Scared of spiders for no reason. Well, join the club, Narpler. You are one. Um, you are now part of the most feared. What is it? Club. Arachnophobia is like the number one fear on Earth. I think. I'm pretty sure. Narcissism. Oh, that's perfect. That's me as a character. Why, why does it look like an S? Why didn't I do okay? So give me give me an idea of how narcissistic he is. Are you in, like what are we talking here? Like he What is it when you're like obsessed with yourself? Like ah oh, dude, I don't know if I can like <laughs> Narcissists are really complicated people. <laughs> They're like insane, right? They're like psychopaths. Right? The problem dude, I don't even know how a narcissist like thinks it's actually terrifying maybe i am one that's probably what i don't know 
Like, full of himself? Like he thinks he's the greatest? Scared of certain reason. I love spiders, but you're scared of them. Interesting. He has main character syndrome. Okay, wait, that's perfect. MC syndrome. See, that helps me understand it better, because I'm I'm an idiot. Like, they see others as a means to an end. Oh, wow. That's actually nuts. So, like, using people to get what they want. He's a user. I'm just gonna write that because I'm a moron, and I will forget what narcissism, like... Like, I've heard the term a hundred thousand times, but I, I don't... <laughs> I don't really understand it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I could picture, like, okay, that person's a narcissist, but, like... Why? Like, I don't really have a good, you know what I mean? I don't really know how to explain. Um, what happened to... This is, like, battle music. We need this. Overconfident. Overly confident. Overly confident. This guy's fucking... Overconfident. This guy's a... A real character, isn't he? We need some more positives here. Okay, no more negatives. No more negatives. More positives. Sure, he's multicultural and acrobatic. He's got two charisma guys, so clearly the narcissism is making him like... He's a likable narcissist. Insidious killer. Confidence is a slow, insidious killer. Okay, what? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, confidence actually can go here, technically. He has confidence. But he's overconfident, so it's like both, you know what I mean? He's got confidence. He's very confident in himself. Pog. That looks like that's like Spanish. Okay, um couple more, couple more. This music. I why did you recommend this? Maybe this one might work. I also like RuneScape. RuneScape's really good. Alright guys, just a couple more. RuneScape. No, I don't want to listen to the RuneScape podcast. Oh my god. He's probably swift. Try like track 10. Okay, I could try. I could try that. In a sec. After the room escape, it's a little. Okay. Um. Fear of old buildings. That's really interesting. I actually love that. That's a perfect fear because it's like really weird and obscure, obscure, but it actually could create a lot of issues. Like he's worried they're going to collapse on him or something. <laughs> I like that. Maybe just old things in general. This guy can't be this much of an asshole. Unless you don't want to give him any other positives. He's just a douchebag. And then any other things he likes. Also, we do kind of need like his like... Alignment. Like how intense is this character? Is he chaotic? Is he lawful? He seems kind of chaotic, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like all these characters are going to be chaotic as fuck. He dances. The welcome traveler shit on the screen. Chaotic neutral? Okay. You think so? Alright, alright, alright. Cartoon Network. Okay. So he's a little chaotic... Neutral. Um, fear of heights? Uh, well, we already have the one. Maybe we could do fear of heights. Yeah, I mean, let's do this. Let's do this. Tall buildings. Right? Kind of combine the two. Uh, I think they may be selfish, but not, like, choosing to be malicious. They may be selfish, but not choosing to be malicious. Well, he does, he is a narcissist. <laughs> And he's got main character syndrome. 
Okay. Is his feet that he's like... Well, he's super likable, right? Is he hot? He's hot. That's like a pretty... That's a pretty... That's a pretty strong feat, right? Dude, this guy's hot. <laughs> He's gotta be a looker. Oh, look at that jawline. <laughs> look at that jawline. Now, look at that jawline. Look at that jawline, that chiseled clef. <laughs> Agoraphobia? Wait, what is that again? Agoraphobia. I, I feel like I know what that is. If you replace the tissues, it might cause panic or embarrassment. That's pretty good. We don't want to make him too complicated. We don't want to make him too complicated, guys. Sure, that makes sense, though. Because of, cause of his narcissism. That makes a lot of sense. La that's the last fear of weakness. We can't give him more. This guy's already fucked. <laughs> Positives from here on out. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> Carlos. I'm thinking, like... Yeah. Kind of like, maybe like that here. Little Tanner. <laughs> yes. It's me. Carlos. He's a dancer? Oh, right. The new master. Huge spaces. That was a skin tone duel. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the skin tone duel. <laughs> like the skin colored crayon? The flesh colored crayon? I'm just making him, like, kind of tan. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> You're scaring me. I'm trying to make him sexy as well. He needs a dimple. He's already got one, like, right there. There we go. How much does he... Is he, like... How, how much hair are we talking here? Does he slick it back? <laughs> does he have a mullet? Oh, he slicks it back, baby. Now look at this guy. This is a character. <laughs> this is a character. Does he does he have little glasses? No, that's ridiculous. Give him a Johnny Bravo haircut. <laughs> Wait, okay, I gotta do that now. Hold on. Wait, let me save. I need a, like a folder for all this shit. Hold on, let me make a folder. This is... God, oh this is just the guy from... Not Men in Black. The Spy Kids. The Dad. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's very slick. I mean, that's pretty good, right? We gotta have the George Wash... Wash Girls. <laughs> The Dave's George. The Dave's Johnny. Ah, uh, hey, uh, baby. He has a horrible scar. No, no, he's good. I'd say he looks pretty good right here. Um. All right. If he's got no other positive traits, then I think we're ready. Oh, what is he like? And what's his catchphrase? White lines. Like the grease. Okay. <laughs> I know what he would look like watching people embarrass themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's his face. For the waves. Yeah, exactly. Can you guys come up with something that he likes? Other than, I guess, money, which we've established. Money. <laughs> Dude, when you did that the other day, Wayward. <laughs> I'm loving those streams, by the way. They're so good. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Should that be his catchphrase? 
Uh, hey, Daddy. Uh, hey, Mama. Is it just like Elvis? We got to have money. <laughs> we got to have money. <laughs> we can that be a sketch? <laughs> wait, wait. Can his sketch race just be... We Okay, we'll have two. We got to have money. <laughs> I hate this fucking character. <laughs> I fucking hate this character, dude. Oh, dear God. Okay, fine. He likes women. I knew you were going to say that. This is just Johnny Bravo, though. God. But he's a... Okay. And he likes redheads, specifically. There we go. I'm getting blown up. <laughs> Stop. We've got to have money. <laughs> Wait, that actually kind of looks like him, though. <laughs> but we've got to have money. This is, he like looks like that. Okay. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. The Tom and Jerry villain. I don't know. I don't even know what it's from. Maybe. What's shaking, sweet thing? Alright, that's pretty good, too. What's shaken? Followed by some sort of thing. We're shaking, baby. We're shaking, mama. Like, he mixes them, right? Alignment, he's Cartoon Network, he likes women and money. This character sucks. <laughs> And shiny things. Anything shiny. Yes. It glitters. That's why he's got an earring. A stud. Does he have an earring? He probably likes watching bar fights, but not actually fighting in them. Ooh, that's that's a great, like, character. Like, overall character idea that that's who this guy is. Okay, we pretty much established Carlos, I feel like. Um, any last final... Oh, shit! Right, okay, his spells and abilities. Alright, you guys can just ramble off some that you want him to have. Uh, we can just make up whatever the fuck we want. This isn't, like, taken out of, like, the, the, the fifth edition, you know? I don't really play... I don't really play by the rules. Okay, we got abilities... And we also have an inventory. So his, like, main items. Is inventory. And I don't know, we'll just do, like, a box or something. I hate doing boxes. Screw that. Okay. Abilities. Okay, what do we got? Uh, money gun causes distraction. What? <laughs> what? What are you saying? In this universe, I don't think... Wait, maybe they are. I haven't really decided if guns exist yet. If anything, they'd be like black powder shit. It's kind of a more like typical fantasy universe, but not not entirely. There's, there's different things going on. Some unique. Identifiers. Okay, uh... Okay, I mean, like... This guy definitely does, like... He's got control of the element. Flame. This guy seems like a fire... Fire wielder. If he was... If he had any power to me... I don't know how you feel about that wayward, but I would think he would. It's very flashy, you know? That gives him a lot of options. Make it rain. <laughs> wait, wait, that's actually hilarious. Does it like conjure gold? Or something? Like he can fight with it? Make it rain. I like that a lot better. All that glitters is gold. 
You can conjure like illusionary gold or something. A passion, a fiery Danza. You should be able to make it rain to distract or hurt enemies. Yeah, I like that a lot. This is a great like distraction ability. So it's like conjure gold basically. I don't know if it's real gold. I think it's like false gold. It's not a big deal. Do you like the fire? What, if, he, if he does have any fire? And it make it so that if he uses the money gun thing, it hurts him mentally. Like, minus one. Oh, oh, this? Um. We might be able to do that. Yeah, like, you can't just spam this. Oh, right, it needs a cost. Um, this would probably be, like, two. Right? I mean, it does, it's not, like, incredibly broken. I think that's fair. Maybe three. No, uh, no, not two, two. This is this is pretty tame. Okay. Uh, uh, he loves money. Spawn cold gold coins that spawns goblins. Spawn throw gold cold coins that spawns goblins. A money golem? That's kind of cool. You gotta do a little jig. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dancing, the dancing flame. He's very animated. And this shoots fire out of his boots or something. <laughs> That's a really shitty boot. How do we feel about that? <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Who cares what it looks like? Jesus. Just flame from the foot. I like the fire. Okay, dancing flame. Maybe he puts out. He pulls out a chair to tan. It gets buffed. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the sun provides extra strength. I'm just gonna put this to remind me. This will be a plus two on the strength. If there ever is any sun, in a very sunny day. He's invigorated by it. I guess we can put that, that he loves the sun. I guess that's the same as glittery, shiny, so that works. This is abhorrent to read, but... <laughs> it's kind of funny looking on stream, at least. The Tango of Flame! Oh my god, that's so good. Flamengo? The Flamengo? The Flamenco? That's pretty... That's actually pretty cool. Calls it the flamenco. He's a reverse vampire. Okay, yeah, is that his race also? I, I I think he's human. He seems like either an elf. <laughs> is this motherfucker a dark elf? <laughs> what do you guys think? Cause we could easily do that. Pretty pretty conveniently. <laughs> How do we feel about that? <laughs> He's a dark elf. Um, or something else. I'm gonna write that for now. A human or an imp? Oh, okay, okay. An imp? I guess the, 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 the ear works, too, with the imp. We can make him an imp. How short is he, though? Is he small? Is he, like, a half imp? He could be, like, a half imp. Like, half human. Ha this music. Okay, okay, yeah. He's, he's like, five... No, no, he's like 4'11", and it like really pisses him off. Like, he could be a short king. Yeah, I think I think he should be short. I agree. A half imp is cool, because that gives him like a unique kind of background. Like, where the hell did he get that imp part of him, you know? Was he birthed from like, hell itself? Hell spat him back out! <laughs> he's definitely impish. He's a tiefling. <laughs> no, I, I actually hate tieflings because I, I don't understand them. Yeah, what, what does he have like blue fucking skin? <laughs> sure. I didn't really think he'd be an imp initially, which is fine, but. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't fucking know. Sure, I mean, right? Narpler is taller than this motherfucker. Oh shit, Dancing Flame has to, like, cost a lot of mana. This is like a five mana spell, bro. I think that's fair. Yeah, you have 12. You could cast this twice and this once, or you could, like, cast this... Well, yeah, that's about it. Maybe we'll make it four, so you could theoretically cast it four times if you wanted to. <laughs> like, hey, like, checking the mana to, like, make the cost. That's definitely balanced and fair. Who cares? It's a fucking story made up game for fun. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Alright, you guys ready? I think this character looks pretty solid. Okay, he needs an item. I need at least one item. Wayward. Can we get a buffing dance? Okay, okay, okay. I'll design the buffing dance, but I need you. I need you guys to come up with some items. This guy's so good, though. <laughs> this is our. I'm already having fun. I hope you guys are too. All right, all right. Shades. Fuck yeah. Damn. So he's kind of selfish. So so he he really wouldn't want to <laughs> give. I mean, well. No, he's not actually selfish. He's the main character. So, of course, he'd be doing some sort of... Dance. <laughs> the dance of love. Um... This is gonna be a three... And this is going to provide a buff to all stats to nearby teammates. They love him. It also provides him with this, with the, with maybe, a, maybe it's, he gets Plus as many as the people who adore him. So like he gets plus one. Plus one self for each inspired maybe. So if there's like five people around you, you get plus five. That's nuts. Plus one self for each. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Because that way you could like get like a crazy buff. Maybe this will only last like a couple turns. We don't have to get really specific about it. Make it four? I think so, yeah. Well, flamenco costs four. I definitely... Yeah, no, I think this is okay. This is not that broken, right? Because all you're doing is you're getting a stat buff, which is only about plus two for everyone, and then you probably are going to get one or two. So I think it's okay. And I kind of like it being two, three, four. Sideburns! This guy, dude. That thick ass jawline. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got a pipe. <laughs> I don't fucking know. He doesn't give a fuck. Alright. Um. Items. Items, boys. And then we can get this character all set up. The dance of love. <laughs> he has dances. And he casts. And he I'm picturing the meme where like the guy goes like with his fingers where he like does like the little like spices. Fear of injury since he dances it would hurt his comments. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like a, a little bit of like getting injured. Like a dancer, like, oh oh I don't want to injure my like my Achilles. Agoraphobia. What was that again? Shit, I totally forgot what agoraphobia means. Oh my god, I'm fucking dumb. Oh my god, right, embarrassment. I'll put these lines that will help me remember. 
Senpai, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> the salty meme. Yeah, yeah, the salty meme, yeah. Computer, please load up Celery Man. That sounds like a very interesting character. Dude, I love, I love the way the chat, like, hold on, let me look at that in YouTube. Because I like the way, like, the hand is next to it. Let me peep this really quick. This fucking thumbnail is so dog shit. Can you even see the chat? You can barely even see the chat. Probably make it taller. <clears throat> or put something else there. Um. Yeah, guys, can you think of some items? You can make them up. I'm gonna look for a gift real quick. Sorry, I'm having you guys do all the work. <laughs> That's kind of the whole point of this, this stream, actually. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be interactive. <laughs> so freaking stupid. Um... It's the exact same color as the background. Or is it invisible? Oh, it's just invisible. Yeah, it's invisible. Working hard or hardly working, Mr. Wizard? I hate that. My god, that is so stupid. I don't like that at all. Oh, who cares? A comb. I have one. A comb that when he... Wow, did you guys both think of that? That's actually crazy. Perfect. Okay, this mirror lets him uh, see into the future but it's <laughs> but he only allows him to see what he <laughs> what he like <laughs> what like his crazy like narcissistic perception so like for example if he like thinks he's like the greatest person ever it's like he can see in the future but like it's the best possible outcome for him so like maybe that's gonna happen I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if that's a decent item or if it's completely useless. Oh my god, the best song just came on. I hope you guys can actually hear that. Yeah, it allows him to see what he wants to see. But it's not like the magic mirror where you can just like say, I want to see like the fairest maid in the land. It's like a dog shit version. It sees what like, <laughs> wait, how do I explain this? It like sees what he like what he wants to see. Yeah, that's actually kind of accurate. I don't really know. Okay, I'll go with him in his damn pocket mirror. Yeah. <laughs> you like the idea I have for the comb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 plus charisma. I do like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Oh, that's good. Plus charisma. And this is just like, this reduces like... Like, after- this actually must require a shitload of mana or something to use, because this thing's crazy. Well, it's actually not. Let's just have it use one. Because it's weird. It's like a weird item. But it does require a power source. It doesn't just work. The mirror of raised. I don't- of raised? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, my lad. Golden, what's up, dude? What's up? Glad to see some familiar faces. We are designing a character. Um, maybe if you, if you, oh god. 
if you have a chance, definitely, I would peek back in chat and you can kind of see where our our thinking lives. Or you can kind of just take a peek at the character. I'll leave it on the screen for a second. Make this a little bigger somehow. We got a lot going on in this uh, lovely, lovely mess. DW! What's up, dude? You guys popped in at like the same time here. What a weird coincidence. Is the RuneScape music too loud? Sorry. We're playing, it's like, we're basically playing, like, D&D, but not really. It's like, well, yes, but, like, basically, but not really. But it's like, it's a role-playing game. Um, but it's fun. I'm excited. It's like, kind of my own spin on it. The mirror is a Harry Potter object that shows you the deepest desire, e even if it cannot be attained. Tells me when Kojo is live. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, can you not tell anybody about the microchips, please? They're still in testing. They have been proven to cause strange reactions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually was it was actually Wayward's idea, but I, I definitely mentioned it uh, a couple streams ago. Yeah, I totally did. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. But I'm excited. We're finally doing it. I'm really excited. And I actually, I'm already having fun even if the stream is a disaster. Like, in the like even if it doesn't go exactly as planned, it's already I'm already having fun. I hope you guys are too. Cause this character is fucking hilarious. This is Carl. <laughs> Hi Jack, my brain. <laughs> well, you kind of were like right in and let her. You guys already have the microchip, but I haven't activated the mind control yet. So just wait for that. Can we give him a weapon? Also, real quick. Or does he not really need one? I mean, he's just kind of like a mage. This guy's definitely a mage. So, being that he's a mage, I actually think we should buff one of his stats um, based on that. Which would be wisdom or intelligence. I would argue that these are all mostly actually like charisma and dexterity based. Like, almost all of these are charisma. This is actually like a bard. This isn't a mage at all. This is a bard. The bod. The bod mage. This is the only one I think you could argue. No, I mean, they really are. They really are all charisma. I feel like. I'll be the fee dude. Yo, let me join the Discord. RQ? I'll be the FE dude? What are you talking about? I don't understand half of what my dad is saying, so I don't understand how much, I don't understand much Spanish, but I like listening to him. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, Narp player. You are the most interesting... The most, the most interesting person in the chat easily. And you can kind of take that as you will. That is not meant to be an insult, but at the same time, it's also not really meant to be a compliment. <laughs> I think you're a cool and interesting lad. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You're interesting. You're very interesting. I don't understand what my dad is saying. Okay, yeah, take it as a compliment. That's cool. Um. Oh, your name on Discord is Fee. What? <laughs> Golden I like, don't understand you, bro. <laughs> this is... Oh, I didn't really explain that also. The RPG, this is, like, not... This is all, like, chat-based. Which is, like, stupid. It's not really, like... My my actual intention wasn't that there's, like... I know, I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh. You just joined the Discord. Oh, I didn't know you weren't in the Discord. What's up? Okay, sweet. You're in, brother. You're in, baby. Um, bro is Iron Man. All right, do we even need to give him? I mean, do we even need to give him a weapon? I guess not. I guess these are his items. He doesn't have a weapon. He doesn't have a weapon. Okay, I'm giving him like a dagger of personality. Just so he has something, right? 
It's jewel encrusted. And it's got a cool skull on the end, yeah. With little spikes on it. Looks like a clown. And some cool diamonds. Jesus criminy. How we feeling? He good? <laughs> he good, bro? Okay. That looks like dog doo doo. That looks a little cooler. He can be empty handed or use a dagger or a pole. Oh, a pole is kind of interesting. I didn't think about a pole. Well, I already drew the dagger. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay for now. Maybe he can get a pull later. Damn, this thing's sharp. This thing's sharp, though. Uh, this thing... This'll use, uh, dexterity. Um. I would also argue that this one does. This uses charisma, and this uses charisma, and this would use dexterity. Right? <clears throat> This gives strength. We know that. All right, how we feeling? Next character. What am I looking at? What? There's so much vomit on the screen. What? Vomit? Don't you mean totally epic dungeoneering? We just made a character. We just made our first character. Um. So... Okay, now that we have, like, a lot of people, I think it's fair to say we're going to assign this character to the people who are here early. So just if you guys don't know, um, the way this is going to work is certain people are going to control certain characters. So we're going to assign letter. And wayward. To this character. Um... Narpler, if you want, you can be assigned to the next character, or you can stick with this one, because I know you just said you want to do the next character, so Carlos is, Golden is going to pass on Carlos, so it looks like Golden Cat and Narpler are probably going to be the second character. We're going to have two. Shaggy and Carl. <laughs> um, if that makes sense, just so everyone understands. So, and then, of course, anyone who joins can just pick which characters they want to be. But for right now, we're going to assign... Uh, letter and wayward if you guys are cool with that just because you guys kind of helped like mastermind this Yeah, exactly Okay, cool cool All right, so you guys are you guys will we'll assign you guys this for now if anyone wants to jump ship That's totally fine, too. It's super cash What'd be fun is if you guys if this is actually fun we could like keep the story going and I can't imagine we're going to finish in one night anyway. But I'm excited. I'm really freaking excited. Alright, we have our two lads. This is it. There's Carlos. I'm going to give him a quick little... I just want to circle some things so people watching can like quickly spot. Whoa. That looks ugly as fuck. Whatever. We're fine. Everyone knows it's Carlos. Okay. Um. Let's go. Character two, baby. All right, we're going to start with the classics. Start start uh, cooking, guys. Everyone who just joined. Cat, uh, 
Let's say save this so you don't close it and lose all our progress. Grr, and I'm gonna miss. You're gonna miss click. I know it. No, don't worry, dude. I've been. Sa I'm the master saver. I lose shits. I I I I've lost enough stuff in my life to never like. Not never, but you know what I mean. To be really conscientious of that, because I just hate losing everything. And you're so right. I'm, it's very possible I could lose everything. But I did save. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll make another save. Carlos 2. There we go. Thank you. The next character, small. Okay, interesting. This character, that last character is actually kind of small. He's 4'11". <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. Like, theoretically, we could make another small boy. <laughs> um... I can minimize Carlos. I just want to make sure this all fits on screen. I also probably don't need the welcome travelers. Um, welcome to the party zone I have. I can make a new... I don't really need... I don't know. We'll just leave it for now, I guess. Yeah, there is a kind of a lot of like word vomit on the screen. Which one is welcome... Which one even is welcome... Tra there it is. That's like legible. <laughs> Good hand. All right. Well, if we want to add more, we could. Okay, you missed out on Pokemon, dude. Dude, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you at all. I was watching your stream, and you had like so many people, and I was like, dude, I don't even want to stream. Like, I want to just kind of watch your stream, and I felt bad streaming when you were streaming, and I hate overlapping streams, but I also felt like I just felt. No, like guilty about it because I was like, well, I, I kind of, I'm not really ready, so I could just watch his stream and stream tomorrow, but I don't know. I, I wanted to do it tonight, and I thought maybe we could just do it for a couple hours. But um, I love your stream. Okay, I'm glad it's all good. You know I love your stream. And that game looked awesome. You were like ga gaslighting me into. Yeah, we do. It's all good. It's not a. It's not. It's not too big a deal, but it's like, because, you know, we are, like, dip, streaming totally different things, so not everyone, but I do feel bad. Like, I feel guilty when it's, like, I'm streaming and I know you're streaming, or I want to watch you, too, so, and support you and, like, send people your way, too, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, I need to stream and get my money. I got to get my money. <laughs> so, you know. Dude. Narpler, bro. It's Friday. Don't worry about the homework that's due Monday. I mean, actually, if it's a lot of homework, you probably should do a little bit. You'll probably feel better about it. Master procrastinator. That's me. Alright, boys. Let's cook on some ideas. Uh, I'm just gonna put, put some names down here. We got gold. We got the narp. I don't know if DW's still here. We got... Who else we got? And not to say wayward in uh, letter, you can't suggest ideas, by the way. Uh, you guys are just... You guys are just... Ma like, your main character syndrome is the other guy. Um, and then we got Kit. Sweet. Okay, um... How do you guys want this character to look? What are you thinking? Did I see your idea? No. Joseph not, Joseph not feeling like my character. Pablo. Name him Joseph. Joseph? Jablo? Joseph. Yosef. <laughs> Yosef? Can we combine them? Yosef. Recess, chin, and balding. Oh, yeah, DW. I can add you. Okay, recess, <laughs> Okay, I actually gotta like Yosef. Yosef. This is also like, yeah. <laughs> it's the Shrek ears. Yosefine. He also goes by Jo. Jacques. Jose. I don't know, I don't know. He also goes by Seth. I don't know. I have no idea, dude. We, we, we can figure that out. Umlauts broke Shrek ears. <laughs> he's a he's a rogue. Okay, maybe actually, he could be a rogue. Oh, we got a lot of room actually. Now let's move this over. 
He is a rogue. I don't want to put things here because this is where the chat is. Like, generally in this area. But I can actually just slide all this over. Oh, wait, no, I can't. No, I can't. I have to remember that there's shit on this side of the screen. Like, I, like, I'm looking at it in my little monitor view, but I... It's easy to forget. Also, I, I kind of want to make chat slightly... I don't know if you guys actually can see the little chat if the, if the text is too small, but I'm not really sure. Um... Unless it, uh, unless it on the O and not the Y. Also, umlauts don't work like that. <laughs> it's funnier, though. Very clumsy, which makes him end up bashing into things. Ooh, okay, okay. So we got his feats. And we got his... We got his beats. He clumsy. He kind of clumsy, though. He kind of clumsy. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I know, dude. I, isn't that great? I appreciate all the help you 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 helped me like get all that shit like get Streamlabs and all that and elements set up, dude. Because honestly, like it's so sick. I wanted it specifically for this stream as well because I want anyone who watches it later to be like, yo, like look at all the ideas, you know, like showing up. Speed and int. Speed and int very high. Okay, so we want high int, high speed as well. Yeah, what are we thinking for this character? Well, he's clumsy, so wouldn't you think he had pretty low dex? Bad charisma, bad charisma, okay. Okay, not super clumsy though. Make his, okay, uh, yeah, no, 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 doesn't sit right. Very clumsy. Give the goblins some gold. <laughs> All right, he's a pickpocket. He's a dirty pocket picker. So he also likes money? These are like two sneaky little boys. Yosef. <laughs> he definitely needs some Viking roots or something. He's a speedy goblin, but he sucks at conversation. <laughs> <laughs> He's a speedy goblin. I'm just a little goblin. Don't hurt me. It's Dobby. He's a sneaky little goblin, is he? He's a sneaky one. He. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, yes. He's a sneaky little goblin. He's got a wild look in his eye. <laughs> yes. He's got a snowman nose. I always feel like goblins have long noses. I don't know why. Does this character suck? <laughs> He's a klepto. It's the thrill of stealing. Okay, there we go. There we go. The thrill. He's a thrill seeker. That's actually kind of a. Eh, we'll call that a feat. Oh, that'd be that'd go under what he likes, probably. I kind of want to put these in similar spots so we can quickly look at them. So I might move all this. This does not have to be his character, by the way. In fact, this probably shouldn't be his character. So hold on. Okay. Uh, that's just goblins in general. He's kind of, he, he's kind though, if he considers you a friend. He's stealing stuff for you. I got something stupid. Make him spite the clash of clans goblin. Like, he hates the other kinds of goblins. You should have a bandit like an eye mask. Or give him an eye patch. He likes cats since he vibes with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Bro gives off negative vibes. Okay, hold on. He needs some... He has dog shit perception. Wait, hold on. Is he? Is this character a goblin? Are you? Is that what you guys want him to be? Because I'm getting that vibe from him. Because he could be an orc. I mean, as well. Or... An orc. But I don't really know what you guys are picturing here. Goblin makes sense? Okay. Alright, alright, 
I'll put this back. I'll make you do a little makeover. He's a pointy chinned goblin. <laughs> this is just the troll face. This is just the troll face. Yeah. Ew. This character sucks ass. <laughs> this character sucks ass. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Yeah, she's a good goblin. Jesus Christ. How do we feel about that? That fit. This is not exactly what he looks like. This is just a visual. Okay, okay, wait, okay. Uh, Goblin would make sense due to his speed. Goblin. What was W and C again? W and C? Oh, wisdom and charisma. Sorry. I was just lazy. Hold on, I'll read chat in just a moment. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, chatters. Constitution. Wisdom. Intelligence. Dexterity and strength. Um. <laughs> Anyone want to put their age in chat? Go for it. You don't have to if you're not comfortable with it. If you don't, that's fine. We're going to use cat bears. Okay. Um, should have Jester hat. His feet is that he can dodge because he's small. Okay. He's dodgy. Not 12. <laughs> 12. 12. 12. Okay, perfect. <laughs> sure, he'll be 12. There we go. Oh, dear God. I guess he can also be a 12 year old goblin. Alright, that means his mana pool is only a resounding 6. Which does suck ass. I guess we should be adding intelligence here. Which we actually probably should do for, um, Yosef. Who is also 24. Uh, oh, he has zero inch, so that's perfect. Okay. So we're actually going to go nine in, uh, mana. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, shoot, we're supposed to add Constitution, too. Uh, Constitution minus two! Uh-oh. That kind of sucks. Uh, we just nerfed, uh, guys, uh, we just nerfed Carlos. Sorry, bros. Gotta play by the rules. Alright. <laughs> this character sheet looks significantly shittier than this one. Maybe because this one's just compact. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, age is your health, but then also his age. But technically, since we... Constitution changes health, they're slightly altered. Strength is one, only because the speed of his punch is fast. Okay. We also need... Wait a minute. Carlos, you get the two ones. So, we still have another one. We have a two... We have a zero to give out, and then we have a negative one. Oh, this is only this is minus two. We have a minus one. Yeah, we have three more. Carlos patch just dropped. We're fucked. No, he just you know he's older, so he he's lost some of his his, his vitality. Perception should be zero. Okay, yeah, this goblin doesn't know a fucking door from a doorknob. He doesn't know a. 
He doesn't know a mu- Um, I was gonna make a shitty, like, D&D joke. He does, this kid doesn't know an owl bear from a mind flayer. Like, what the fuck? This kid wouldn't know a beholder if he hit him with all his lasers. Blech. Wisdom should be one. My wisdom is one. Okay. Perception, perception. So that means he has minus one constitution. That actually makes a lot of sense because he's a fucking little piece of shit. Alright, so this is technically 11, guys. The patch just dropped. This guy sucks. He- Okay, to be fair, he's a goblin, so this actually makes a lot of sense that he's got way shittier stats. I feel bad for- <laughs> Four people are controlling this shitty character. But wait, wait, we're about to buff him, though, with all his abilities and, like, his fucking feet and, and shit. Okay, uh... Drop me some some beats and some feats. What is he good at? What is he dog shit at? This also includes vices. Oh, he needs his catchphrase. Oh, and fears as well. Fear? What do you fear? His catchphrase is um it's Gobbin time! <laughs> Alright. He is sorry. Uh, this dude has gone to be an F tier on the updated tier list. Feet should be good at running. And we sorta got that. He dodgy. Acrobatic, we can say. No, 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 no. It'd be athletics. He's athletic. What else, boys? <laughs> <laughs> it's Yoinky Sploinky. His fear should be afraid of Yoinky Sploinky. His fear should be afraid of slime. That's kind of interesting. Like a <laughs> cat bear stream. <laughs> slime. <laughs> I feel like Cat Bear doesn't even type in my chat. He doesn't love me. He hates me. <laughs> this guy does not look like a Yosef, by the way. <laughs> this looks like a... What about my stream? I said you don't type in my stream. Like, you never put messages in my chat. I like your new PFP, by the way. I know he does. <laughs> I'm kind of messing with you. I have food in my mouth. <laughs> now you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I was kind of messing around. Yeah, I'll literally just sit and like lurk in your stream. Like, and like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Did you draw the Garfield in the title? No, and I really wish I did. Um, yeah, do you guys like the thumbnail? <laughs> I made that- I made that in five minutes. No, more like 15. But I was freaking- I lost a subscriber for this stream, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, that sucks. Someone probably saw this and was like, this is not what I subscribe for. <laughs> they were like, yeah, so like, where is the Left 4 Dead though? I appreciate- I appreciate everyone being here. Because, um... I, it's just epic. It's really cool. I'm really happy. And this is something I, I, I just really I'm having fun doing. This is Yo hello, this is Yosef this is Yosef the Goblin. Today we are going to steal the delectable gold from the Fava Hut. <laughs> yeah, is that his voice? Oh it's me, the goblin. Oh oh hey, it's me. I'm Yosef. <laughs> I hate his name. We have to change his name. It's me, Seth the Goblin. Seth is a little better. Or Joe. I'm Joe the Goblin. They call people call me Joe. I love you, bro. Cat bear. Title, I love you too. Speed run. Title speed run. <laughs> um yeah, I just put like Lord of Lords of Brain Rot. Speed running with chat. 
You make a stereotypical healer or mage. Well, Golden, you can make a character. Right now. We are losing subscribers. We posted too much Carlos. I think Yosef sounds like a Swedish set. A Swedish chef. Kind of does. Gold, um, you said you want to make him a healer or a mage? We don't have to not make him a mage. It sounded like he's leaning on rogue, I'm not gonna lie. Um. Race is pretty obvious. He's a goblin. And then, um, for class, I don't know. He's definitely leaning on Rogue, just based on his character design, but, like, you guys can decide. We were on, but we're on, we're on Yosef. I don't know if we're going to make a character for everybody, Cat Gold. We, um, we might be able to make a third one if we, if we really, uh, if everyone is, like, wants to do that. But we actually only really need two characters. We could have a third one. And then do twos and twos. Like, this could be, um, two of you guys' character and then we can do t one more. But we can kind of figure it out. Uh, how we, how we, you know, depending on how many people come into the stream, too, we could, like, make another one next stream or whatever. It really doesn't matter, guys. We can do whatever. Okay, he likes cats. He likes cats. Ooh, yeah, what is his alignment? Oh, I gotta put this up way higher. He likes cats? And fire. Oh, right. Sorry. And he loves fire. I like that. Guys, you're gonna have to remind me about Carlos, because I'm like already forgetting all his lore. Hold on, I have to check Carlos again. <laughs> okay, no, I remember. I, lo I love this shit. I love this fucking character. We're gonna make- we're, go we're gonna turn fucking Yosef into a, like a beast. Just wait. <laughs> He's got, like, the fucking alpha alpha hair. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. Alright, Golden. That's fair. Uh, okay. He will try to do good, but sometimes the thrill gets better. Okay, so he actually is good. He's not lawful. There's no way this, this dude is lawful. There's no way. There's no way this dude is lawful. Like, right? He's chaotic. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to read that way. <laughs> He's a firebender. Wait, wait, wait. But the other guy's a firebender. He may want to chill with him. Carlos is a firebender. Right, right, right. He may want to chill with him just for the fire. Right. That makes a lot of sense, actually. He loves his fire. He loves fire so much that he actually... <laughs> I was about to say, like, he has a fire tattoo, but that's stupid. I, don't, I want to get rid of the poop on his face. All right, hold on. He's got a cutie mark. No, Jesus Christ. Maybe he singed off one of his ears. It's really fucked up. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we kind of, yeah, kind of that... In mind. Uh, my name is Yosef Yeezy Z a goblin and you welcome a doozy a dungeon. I'm not reading that. I'm not even reading that. I'm sorry, wait, wait, I'm not reading that. <laughs> yeah, burn, burn! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, hey, Bivif. Oh, Bivif. Oh, this character sucks. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I've been waiting to bust out my Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Where is he gold? We're gonna see gold. <laughs> oh, Bivith, we're totally gonna score. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, that's the narcissistic streamer in me. I had to, to do that. Okay. All right, we're almost there. A match of Groot keep. 
It's not even a pirate maniac that benefits him, but I'll wait for it until abilities. No, no, you can drop whatever. I'll add it. No, no, no drop your ideas. Dump your ideas. I, I'll, I'll put them in. Abilities. Because we do want to get to the, you know, the gameplay part, too. Abilities. We also need some inventory. His inventory would be really low down here, so I'm going to raise all this. He's a goblin. His race is there, and then his inventory can be here. Why'd I spell that so poorly? <laughs> okay, just can't spell. Alignment can be moved. Catchphrase. He needs his catchphrase, though. Also, this can't be the only feat. Like, think about our... Look at this shit. You guys were like... Do, 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 do. Just back to back, like feats and weaknesses. Th this guy's got problems. Well, he's obsessed. He's obsessive. He's kind of like got Gollum aesthetic. Right? He's obsessive. He's covetous. Oh, um, this dude sucks. Where are the chicks? <laughs> oh, this dude sucks. Where are the, like, chicks, dude? Okay, let's add more to ash. Let's add more ash to the fire pit. Yeah, we really need more, like, fucking logs. Dude, got that Beavis fascination with fire. Fire, he got, okay, wait, wait, hold on. His ability should be an inconvenient invisibility. <laughs> this is just Gollum. That's kind of funny. Okay, uh, this cost, it actually, does, does this cost anything? No, this is a passive ability. <clears throat> when he's attacked? No, 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 not when he's attacked. Not when he's attacked. <laughs> God. Okay, like, every, like, third action or something, you go invisible. <laughs> or something, I don't know. I don't know. Like, every other turn, it's, like, phasing. This is, we'll just call this, like, phasing. And we'll have you go invisible, like, depending, <laughs> and, like, re-invisible, like, depending on the plot. <laughs> like, you cannot, this is a non-controllable ability. And the reason he has this is because, like, he was cursed. So, this is actually a curse. Because he stole, like, money from, like, a witch or something. I don't know if that's good lore. He's cursed. Okay, how do we feel about that? <laughs> the ability to last until you fight. Oh, I like that, though. I like that. The reason he has the ability is because he likes... He is, like, two feet tall. <laughs> Read my item idea now, jockey! Don't ever fucking call me jockey like that again. Don't you fucking ever do that again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine if I was serious. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, did I scare you? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of mean. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just, I like, I like become like a psychopath. Smiley faces in chat if I actually got you. Okay. Let me read, let me read your ability. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have an inventory thing. A magic lighter where if he burns himself with one damage. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. A magic lighter where if he burns himself for one damage, he gets a temporary strength buff for a little while he causes fire. Okay, I really like that idea, actually. I think that's better as an item. Oh, no, you wrote that. Okay, I have an inventory item. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm sorry, I don't know why I, I like, did that anger prank. It wasn't that funny. I forget my audience, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, sometimes I, I forget that, like, everyone's in, like, different, um, I don't know, just different ages and stuff. Because I'll be honest with you, like, if, <laughs> if, like, I was watching someone, they got, like, really mad at me, I would, like, really, i get, like, really sad. <laughs> like, really fast. You know? Hopefully, you guys all know I'm, like, never fucking serious, ever. 
And if I ever actually was serious, I probably would start. I would actually probably start by saying like, "Hey guys, I'm like actually serious." <laughs> That's how you can usually tell. Hey guys, uh, can we stop? Can we stop spamming like? This weird stuff in chat, like about like furries or something. Like that's what I would say. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Jackie's the final boss. I am the final boss. I'm your final boss, and you have to beat me to unlock your mod status, or you die. I have him laugh uncontrollably whenever someone makes a bad joke. Okay, so this is another. La <laughs> this is we're making an NPC because none of his abilities are actually usable. It's not even English. We are setting up these characters really well, though. For a very, like, interesting... I'm gonna... Here's the problem. I'm gonna forget that this is a thing. I'm gonna forget that this is a thing. This is just gonna come down to how, me like, how good my memory is as a dungeon master. Because I might have to have these, like, on my side monitor and just, like, constantly be looking at them. There's no way we can have three characters. Because I'm already forgetting Carlos's, all his stuff. Look at all his fears. Like, like, I'm gonna forget all this shit. I mean, yes, you guys are gonna help us basically control the characters, so it's it's mainly gonna be your controlling of them. So maybe it is a lot less responsibility for me. But at the same time, how are you all gonna remember all this shit? I don't fucking know. Maybe take screenshots or something. Anyway, we're just gonna have fun with it. Okay. Uh, have him laugh uncontrollably. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty funny. Um... This actually is a terrible ability. If anything, this is this is a vice. Like this is a beat what, here. We should probably put this there actually. Because this is not really an ability. Well, I mean it is though. Yeah, I guess we'll put it there. But then we'll give him less beats because he just can't shut the fuck up. All right, what else we got, lads? Okay. How about writing it down in a notebook? Okay, gold. Okay, yeah, I'll write all this down. Okay. I'll just take screenshots of it and, like, I could print these out, actually, which would be kind of funny. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um... Sorry if I anger bait you. I'm also sorry if I anger bait you. I anger bait you all the time. I I say tons of like stupid shit in your chat. I know none of us are like I know you like nobody's actually like serious like you know. Life's too short to be serious. Life's too short to be serious. All right, let me let me keep reading here. Um, besides me, how you guys you want to nerf my boy? He can hide in shadows in a pinch, but only when he panics. Oh, that's kind of neat. Well, he does go invisible. Uh, I'm fine with that. How about writing it down? Give me, give him the ability of being able to steal anything. You're going to have to think of a sufficient downside. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, get shut down, gold. <laughs> get fucked. No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. That's a pretty good one, though. He can steal anything. I mean, yeah. I mean, a pick, a magic pick pie is very, is very cool. I like that a lot. I think we're gonna go with that because it's his first actual ability, and it just costs some mana. That's our, that's our fairness. Ooh, I got a better idea. You lose something. If you steal something magically, you lose something randomly that you own. And chat votes on what it is. <laughs> or something fucked up. <laughs> so you can use this freely. It'd be too strong if it was any item, though. So it might have to be, like, that you can see. However, you have to have an item to give up. Does that sound cool? Something like that. Uh, how do we... Okay, right. Recycle. 
It's an exchange. You guys will know what that means. This is very cool. That's a really that's a really weird ability. But that's his first real ability. These are passives, essentially. What does this use? Probably dexterity? Perception? Nah, probably dexterity. No, I don't know. I would say this uses dexterity. Okay, uh, an idea to pair with it. If you use all your mana, you can lock an item so it doesn't randomly disappear. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. What if it doesn't take from the items in your hands? So any item that you're actually holding is safe. Held items are safe. That's a good idea. I like that you can lock them in, kind of. This is a this is a very interesting power because if you are collecting, if you're obsessing over items, you're also obsessing over losing items. So this is gonna freak you out if he if he's losing shit all the time. Is he patient? Is he cordially? Or is he is he kind of like a crackhead energy? Rusty bronze knuckles that cause poison damage. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's an item. We need like an actual like weapon item. We actually that looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> we actually never gave the dagger any stats. Which we could. If you guys Yo, with Letter or Wayward, if you guys want and have an idea for what the dagger does when it hits, you can um, put that in chat if you want, and I can maybe add something. Poison. Um... Well, gotta be a tinker if you do a magic exchange. A tinker. <laughs> do you think I know what that means? I actually do. I was just playing D and D with some nerds, and I think some of them, one of them, like is like an artificer or something. I don't really know what it means though. Do you think I actually played D and D for real? Okay. Those are his brass knuckles, which look like dog shit, but that's there. Could the dagger slow after stabbing. Yeah, sure. Easy as that. <laughs> that way he can f he can fucking flex on them and start casting spells and dancing on their ass and they can't run away. So you go like backstab into flamenco into no 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 you go make it rain into backstab into flamenco. That's his like this is like a like a League of Legend like a Dota character. He's got like his combos and his ultimate. His ultimate is Whip It and Nay Nay. Nah, we're not doing fucking Carl anymore. We on that Seth grind. Alright, boy, Seth is... I mean, Yosef is almost done. Oh, uh, he needs a catchphrase. He needs one more power. And I think we're probably good. His Q, his W, and his E. <laughs> his Q, his W, and his E. My friends give me a hard time because I actually use Waz to, to play MOBAs. I hope hope that doesn't make anyone else, like, cringe. I'm actually, I'm, I don't care if it does. It's just funny. 5% extra mental distress. It stacks. <coughs> That's funny. Petus is really fucking good patience. Okay. He's patient. Insidious killer. I'm actually kind of surprised he's patient because he seems like he's not, considering that he's obsessive. But I guess this makes sense because, like, kind of like Gollum-y, how Gollum kind of just waits around for the ring and like is trying to like let it pay off, hanging out with the hobbits the whole time. His one actual mana spell is, ch is enchanting his knuckles for one attack, so it adds bleed. Oh my god! I'm dying. No click to move. Make a giant safe with gold. <laughs> a 
good. It's too funny. It's just too comically stupid. I drop a giant safe on his ass. Um... What's this spell called? <coughs> Feel my mini might. Still my, still my vote for battle quote. Feel my mini might? I missed that. Feel my mini might. Feel my mini might! That's so <laughs> stupid. I, I, I'm sorry. <coughs> One sec. Grabbing a drinky. I was gonna say I'm sorry, but like this character is like the like super unlikable. <laughs> but like it's okay, because it's funny. He's unlikable because of, like, <laughs> he's just stupid. <laughs> Which is, like, kind of funny, though. Alright. Patient makes him clumsy where he's supposed to be doing something. One of the few times his patience is killed off is when he's very big rush. I'm stealing. Right, right, right. Drop of the gold. <laughs> Drapa the Golda. Drapa. Drapa Kappa. Drapa. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Drapa de Gold. Drapa de Golda. That's so freaking stupid. But I love it. This character got negative riz. We made him like that. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Mini boss. He is like Baby Bowser. I feel like he'd have a different colored haircut. Like, I feel like it'd be, like, fucking purple. <laughs> Stupid. A Delta Rune chapter. Drop of the Golda. Drop of the Golda. Alright. How much fucking mana is that? That's insane. You just drop a safe on somebody? Let's do five. I mean, four. That's fair. You can use it twice. Right? Or should be like six. Pure is he has is the color purple because it reminds me of a spooky thing he saw when he was four. <laughs> okay. <gasps> does he kiss the color purple or does he head but the color orange? That's my question. It's gotta be a big number. Oh, okay. We can make it higher. We can make it like six. I mean this is literally dropping a safe on someone's head. He's a Toontown! I was thinking that, dude. I was told- I was thinking that! I'm so glad you said that. It, it totally reminds me of, like, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like, fucking Toontown character. Who is this Toontown, Yosef? Alright, are we- are we, uh, what are we missing? Are we- are we good? Are we good? He has one ability. He actually technically has two. He actually has four, which is nuts. I guess that's fair, because what's his name has three usable abilities. He has no passives. I do like MOBAs that have no passives. He's all abilities. This is like a fucking video game. This is crazy. Alright, how are we doing? Are any any last minute touches to add to Yosef? It's a safe made out of gold. Anything for money. This is also a distraction, yeah. You can use this in a lot of different ways. You could drop it on like something to like break it. Like you, you, this is also this has a height. Uh, this is a uh, a double your height. So let's say triple. 
So if this is so, if you're what, three feet tall, this is a nine foot drop. Yeah, because I'm assuming this fucking goblin is tiny. Yeah, he's like three and a half feet tall. So this would technically be three, seven, ten. Yeah, we'll say it's ten. All right, anything else, guys, before we finish up this character here? A ten-foot drop with a save. Low enough fire will heal, and making the lighter a last resort heal. If he's low enough, fire will heal him. That's really interesting. So, like, if he's below, let's say, three, he can, like, heal himself. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but it's interesting. Maybe. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, below four, so it's like three or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, less than four, and he can uh, do it like a one-time heal or something. That's kind of neat. Use it to store gold and liquidate enemies. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot there. A lure, unless only Carlos needs it. I guess Carlos having a lure is pretty good. They, they guys, they both don't need one. I can't wait till we get to the combat and you guys see how fucking stupid it is. It's like 10.30. We, we can probably start actually playing, I think. How are you guys feeling? <coughs> Yosef done? How are we feeling on Yosef? Yosepi. We got the Narpster? We got the Cat Meister? And we got the DW. I can't even see Cat's name. <laughs> I feel like you're getting so cheated. You guys know. You guys know. And then anyone who joins will have to be um, part of, uh, what's his name? Carlos' team, because this one's pretty full. We got a full house. Any last second ads? The heal's only three, and you don't get the strength buff. Right. Deal. Nerfed. Can't believe this motherfucker would do an art stream and not have me included. <laughs> You're funny. I mean, yeah, I was tempted to do like I wanna stream audio like a like a call with you guys and like yeah, it would be really cool if like you and me did like a I feel like once this starts like rolling, if I actually like get into doing this, it'd be really fun if yeah, like you you like like did the animation for like the like you know, you would draw live and like make the combat and the map or something like that. That could be really fun. Because, yeah, I mean, you are, like, the RT, the, the like, resident artiste. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, Kat. We'll talk. I'm sure we can do something fun. Make it so the heels... Okay, see my idea? Gold, I missed your idea. You can use the safe, jump on it, and use it again for bonus damage. Okay, okay. It adds a height bonus. Um... Well, I guess I can't really convey that... Because you could theoretically just jump off of anything. But I, I like the concept. I think we'll, we'll, we'll have lots of options with the safe. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's a lot, lot, lot that can happen. I think this character's pretty good. Um, Right? Auto balance, or honestly, anyone can control anyone. Yeah, I mean, honestly, probably anyone can control anyone is my guess. Or we can auto balance. It doesn't really matter. Heck yeah, I'm down, but only when my mom isn't home because she would think I'm telling you everything about who I am. What? Don't tell me about who you are. <laughs> but 
don't get in trouble either. Um. Nerf tired. <laughs> well, don't do anything that you're not supposed to be doing, obviously. Okay. Anyway, I think we're good. Last second check. Uh, I'm going to just look over Carlos and see if we missed anything that Carlos says that he doesn't. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's a rogue. I think we've agreed on that, right? This guy, a rogue-looking dude. Why is it pink, though? Um... I thought I made a save as. I was about to. Uh... Yeah. Fears? He only fears slime in the color purple? Yeah, that's fine. This is great. We're good. I think we're. I think. I think we're good. Oh, Carlos does have an, a passive. He loves the sun. I forgot about that. Let's go. Save. Yosef. If we want to change anything later, we always could. But I think for now, we can lock these in. A goblin and a half imp. What an unlikely. What an unlikely fellows. I do like how jo Yosef turned out. Narpolif, why are you so sad, bro? Get hyped! Get hyped! We're about to, like, go! Let's go! Okay, I actually think I want to give, um... Shoot. I did miss something. I want to give, uh... Uh... The Goblin, like, slightly more armor. Wait a minute, no, wait. No, wait. Why did I give him dog shit armor? Well, he has no strength or constitution, but he has one strength. And he's, like, well, he's got way less health. I think two armor is, like, actually fair. We're going to say, we're going to say he's got two natural armor. No, but he's a goblin. He would have dog shit armor. Like, he actually would have dog shit armor. I guess I'll have to go get more armor. That's fine. We're going to have them both be one. Sorry, Garpler. We're going one. We're going one. I mean, I think two is fair, because it would reduce two damage when he gets hit, but, like, at the same... Yeah, uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. We'll start with one. I think... I don't want to change things too much. We're just going to say base armor is just one. I don't really know how to add to that. Did we do our buffs here? Um, oh, right, you're a rogue, so you actually would get extra dexterity. Intelligence. Do we actually auto change this? Do we? Oh right, you get plus one charisma because you're a bard. So we actually have three charisma and three dexterity. Nice. Save these bad boys. All right, who's ready? We were being tricked into making specials. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Okay, before we actually start gaming, uh, like playing the actual thing, I'm gonna go pee really quick, and so I'm just gonna put this on and turn this off briefly and put this goblin back. Wait, this goblin's been hiding back here the whole time? Give me your wares. He's running away. He's like, help! No, we gotta rotate this dude. Where's my, like, gift that says BRB? Uh, where's my BRB? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting font choice. Kojo. I was thinking of rebanding myself as, um... Kojo. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know how you think about that in the comments below. Um, so I can maybe do more variety stuff without it being related to coding. Because I do love coding, but at the same time, I actually think I should just make a separate... No, that's crazy. I shouldn't make a separate channel. I only have like 100 subscribers. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Just do what I want. Have fun, right? Kojo's good, but you gotta keep the OG name too. Hmm. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I 
what am I? Oh god. Mods? Mods? Keep an eye on chat for me while I'm gone. Bro is adding this to the RPG mutation. <laughs> the RPG mutation. Now that'd be something. I'm ready. Alright. I'll be right back. Can I just say, I'm so glad we're like Jay chilling here. Everyone's Jay chilling up in here. This is awesome. I'm like so into this. Oh my god, it's cool. It's Gromit. Haha. -ha. My legendary Patreon subscriber. What's up, dude? What's poppin'? Dude, we just made. We just made our characters for the RPG moment. I think you'd find this pretty entertaining. Well. I don't know what you'd find entertaining exactly. I well, I do kind of know, but I but you know what I mean. I I don't really know what I mean, but I'm saying, I think you'd find this entertaining. <laughs> They're just making our characters for the RPG moment. The ARG PG. What JoJo stand you gonna you gonna have Gojo JoJo? I Jo I stand JoJo. I actually have never watched JoJo. What JoJo stand are you gonna have? Kojo JoJo? Does Kojo have a dojo? <laughs> no. Stadium poacher. Yar, there be treasure. That was your first message. Right? I don't remember. I think it was. Alright, let's get that chat. On screen chat. Boom. That goblin's kind of in the way, though. Oops. All right. I'm sure I have a little quick snack I can grab. Let me grab a little snack. Just a quick little snack. Oh my god, these headphones, bro. I got bagels. Yo, I went to, uh, after work, I went to an estate sale today. It's pretty 
epic. I like. I haven't been to one as like an adult man, like ever. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fun. It was a pretty small house. It was actually a really nice house. Like I would love to live there. I guess. Um. I'll grab an ice cream. But yeah, it was a it was a cute little house. It was a cute little house. And uh, I got some cool stuff. The the books out in front. 25 cents um they were 25 cents and some of them seemed really cool they were like these crazy old like fantasy books like sci-fi fantasy really old really famous author i think i just i just don't know exactly who it is but i'm pretty sure like i read like I, they all kind of had the same similar authors but i did find um mouse which is a cartoon sorry a comic that I don't know if anyone's ever read, but it's really freaking good. So I bought I bought both those for a dollar, and then I got um, All Quiet on the Western Front, which I've always wanted to read, but I, I'm obsessed with the, the old movies, and it's just amazing. And then I got Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park, and you know, it's a bunch of random books. I mean, I don't really read, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into reading. And that author was Terry Pratchett. Mouse is really good. Dude, Wayward. Oh, Wayward with the, with the legendary. Dude, we gotta be like brother, brothers from another mother or something. Because I don't know how you like all the same things I do. That's like weird. Do we have the same birthday or something? Anyway, Mouse is really good, yeah. Um... Oh, and I, I got this $5 ruler. It was a very large ruler, like an old wooden one. But then they had this radio that was playing, just like playing shitty old music. And I was like, yo, this actually is kind of a bop. And it was like a radio. It was like one of those like alarm clock radios. But it was old as shit. It was like ancient. I was like, all right, this is actually dope as fuck. Now, I don't know if the alarm part still works, but the radio did. And I was like, it has the dial and everything. And I was like, yo, it was $9. And I think they gave me a discount, but then they... They fucked up the tally, I think, and they get gave me an undiscount, so. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. This person, like, collected, like, African art, like, art, 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 and architecture, and, like, stuff from the Himalayas, and, like, Moku, Motu Picchu. They were, like, very well-cultured. They were like Carlos. That's fair in Arpler. Honestly, all the books I read in school were actually dope as shit. Um, so I couldn't really complain, but yeah, being forced to read sucks. Like if you don't really like reading a textbook, oh my God, fuck that. Not, not a fan. I like, um, I just started reading 1984. It's very relatable. Very relatable to today's society. So we live in a society, you know. You guys know how we live in a society. <laughs> Where a kid's mother gets support and the kid has to make do with his dad. Is it a long walk to water or something? Yo, he's back with pizzazz! Dude, I fucking love Fahrenheit 451. I read... Dude, 1984 feels like Fahrenheit 451. I read the comic version of Fahrenheit 451 in like two days. When all the other losers in school had to read like the actual like binded copy. I don't know. It was an option. I was like, why the hell wouldn't I read the freaking comic? It was dope as shit. Look at this thing. Look how cool this shit looks. I can't really show. Hmm. Never mind. It's cool. <laughs> Just look it up. Look at the comic. Have you read it? I've heard about it, but I have to read it. I know how good it is, though. Okay, yeah, 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 it is good. And it's quick read, too. The door. The 
door code in Bioshock. Put me on that. Fair <laughs> Wait, the door code? Weird. That's such a weird, like, way to see something. That's actually crazy. Dude, I love Bioshock. I never. Can I just be honest? I played that beginning opening scene, like, maybe ten times. I just, I never made it past... I didn't actually know that. 0451. I had no idea. That's really funny. Dude, that, that, but I never got past, like, the part where you have to use telepathy to, like, move something. I remember being stuck there. And I just never continued past the game. You needed, like, telepathy to, like, pull something. It was, like, a, some, in, like, some bottle. Or some, like, vending machine shit. <laughs> Chatters wishing they gave Yosef telepathy. <laughs> Put their F's in chat. He's already finished. <laughs> and he says, feel my mini might. And you guys let that happen. You guys let that catchphrase just slide on through. <laughs> I'm looking at their two fucking heads. Like, next to each other. <gasps> you feel like a god by the end. Oh, man. Maybe we should do that on stream. Maybe we should just make Bioshock and let for dead. <laughs> Ew, I hated that I just laughed like that. That was like a joke laugh, but I didn't like it. Ew. I had an old friend that used to laugh like that. We are not friends anymore, but... Did anyone ever do... Okay, I, well, Kat, I know you, this happens to you a lot, which I feel bad for you. And I, but I don't feel bad. I, I, I know how you feel. Because often I'll, like, do something... And it'll remind me of this, you know, kind of like someone who you have falling out with, you know. And I, it makes me think of them, and I'm like, or, or I'll do something that they used to do, and I'll cringe. And I'll just be like, oh, God, why I hate that I just did that. Or I hate that, like, I just made me think of that, you know. The joke is that they aren't funny, so it works out. That is good. Multiplayer, but in Left 4 Dead. Dude, that'd be crazy. That sounds fun. I never really played multiplayer, but I... <laughs> I don't feel bad. No, Kat, the point... No, I do feel bad. The point I, I was just making was... It wasn't the reason why I was saying that. I was just saying, I feel for you. I, I didn't mean to say I feel bad for you. I feel for you. Because, like, I also have experienced that. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. Yeah, I don't feel bad for you. Get, go fuck yourself, you know? <laughs> no, I do feel... I do feel bad. I, but I feel like I can relate to that feeling, you know? That's that's all I was saying. <laughs> that's all I was yapping about. Don't be sad. I love you, though. But God, I love you. But God, I love you. <laughs> okay. Guys, I think we're ready. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Can we play now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Get hyped in chat. Get hyped in chat. Get hyped in chat. Get hyped in chat. Welcome, travelers. Oh, my God. Get hyped in chat. Okay. All right. Seriously, guys? I'm going to need you to get hyped in chat. We are about to game. This is the moment of the month. <laughs> of the month. Well, I don't want to disappoint you incredibly, but I'm probably going to. So let me pull up my storyboards. I have something very fun for you guys to start us off. I am doing a... I don't know if I've mentioned this on stream, but I'm taking a sound class, a sound design class, and it's very fun. <laughs> Extra credit. Um, I'm, I'm in a, duh, 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 what am I in? I am in a, I am in a, oh, I did not mean to move that, actually. I am in a sound design class, and I have been uh, designing some sounds, and one of the sounds is make, like, one of the sound projects is to make a scene. So my scene is, um... The opening scene to this campaign, this story. 
So I hope you guys are excited. That was a really long way of me just saying I made a sound for you guys. So, uh, get ready to get immersed. I guess I can theoretically just put this put this back for a second. Okay, ready? Um, so the <laughs> the backstory, okay, to our to our characters. The backstory. Let me well first. Let me set the mood with this um this music. I probably have. I think I have this here. Hopefully this is the correct music. Okay, so. Okay, wait. No, nope, nope, wrong music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Wrong music. Okay. To set the backstory. <laughs> um. Okay. Fire lizard. Yo, dude, you made it like this is like the perfect timing. I'm literally about to start the RPG moments. You mi Okay, you did miss... R I'm gonna fill you in two seconds. You missed... Our character creation. Which was these. So we have... Here are our two characters. Oh, by the way, Fire Lizard, if you're sticking around... Um... You're on Team Carlos. So how it's gonna work is there's two characters. Uh, one is controlled by... Uh, you guys can kind of, like, just control whenever you want and take turns controlling, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyone can control this character. So Letter, Wayward, and you, uh, Fire Lizard, can control Carl. And uh, Gold, Narpler, Cat, and DW control Yosef. And just to give you a quick heads up, Carl is a half-imp with some crazy powers. He's a bard. He creates fire and shit. He's got a lot of weird weaknesses and vices. You might want to, you might want to take a screenshot of this. You might want to take some notes here. <laughs> Your team, Edward. Well, okay. I guess you can be team Edward. <laughs> That's funny. That was funny. Yeah, it is Darkest Dungeon. Because that's the only thing I'm allowed to play on stream. <laughs> any any video game music. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, Carl. Uh, he sucks at pretty much everything except dexterity and charisma. And, um, he's very greedy and narcissistic, and he's got main character syndrome, and he's taller, and he says, like, hey, mama, and what's shaking, baby? And then he also likes money and women, and he fears things, lots of things. He's a narcissist, basically, who has some weird powers. This is basically to picture Gollum, but, like, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's like James Bond as if he was, like, also Johnny Bravo. And this is, like, just Gollum with, like, plus, like, Jerma. <laughs> you know what What can do with my little finger energy? It's because you know what I can do with my little finger. Johnny Bond. <laughs> Johnny Bondo. Bondo would be such a good name for him. All right. I want to name him Bondo, but we're not going to do that. Anyway, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> a Casino Royale in Montenegro. Still haven't seen that movie. Actually, wait. No, I, I started to watch it, and then I didn't finish it. Yeah, Bondo can be his nickname. Anyway, um, so this is Yosef. Uh, he's a goblin, if you couldn't tell. He has poison knuckles, and he can drop a safe on you. And he has some really... This music is way too exciting. He has uncontrollable laughter. Which can fuck him. He also can turn invisible randomly, which can fuck him. And he can magic swap with someone, like magically swap an item, but if he does, he also randomly loses an item or something. And then he can drop a giant safe on your head. So there's Yosef. He's the dog shit character. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, there are characters. Now you know everything and you're good. Okay, I was just about to explain the lore. The lore. Hold on, let me pull up my, like, 
like like land like actual like places. Okay. Our travelers begin. Hope you guys are ready. I gotta crank the music a little. <clears throat> Where's the uh capture? There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Sorry. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but it's fine. I'm gonna shake off the. I'm gonna shake the nerves. Ah, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Our travelers begin in a dank and cold environment. Um, it's raining heavily. And our travelers have just um, finished a quest. They've succeeded. Well, not yet. Our travelers are found in, in, the, in the forest. Um, they're taking a carriage to a, a nearby town. Just a a few miles up north. They, um... They've been traveling together for some time, of course. Carlos and, and Yosef. Two very odd fellows, but they both have a certain bond that brings them together. Their, their set of skills and attributes have, have brought them... Brought them fate has brought them together. <laughs> I'm just making this shit up, by the way. So, I have like some I have like some stuff prepared but like I'm just I'm trying my best here okay and on this carriage ride on this particular night everything goes awry after having just captured one of the local bandits a prisoner Carlos and Yosef have picked up the Sportly, um, the sportly, um, career, occupation, of mer of hired mercenaries. And in this, in this, um, field of work, they've captured, um, they're mercenaries. They captured this guy. Okay, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to say it in like a fancy way. You got. There's two guys. It's you two. You're taking a carriage in the middle of the woods. It's Yosef and Carlos, and they've just captured Terence, the Pied Piper, who is known for stealing animals. And it's late, and it's dark, and you're riding a carriage, and this is what happens. Here, Q scene. Q scene. set in the mood. No, I'm not muted. <laughs> I was letting it sink in. Was that cool? Was that cool? Did you guys hear that okay? Immersion Destroyer. our soundscape so if you can't tell what happened um thunder and lightning is struck nearby spooking the horse so greatly that it ran off and left the carriage and you and and your friend your friend here Terence in the rain in the middle of the dark 
in the middle of the forest. Miles from, from the village you're trying to get to. And that is where our story begins, my fellows. Okay, now is when we get down to business. P bussiness. Now our story begins. Okay. Get out of here. We have... Yosif. Whoops. We have... Carlos. <laughs> and we have Terrence. If you don't know, Terence is an orc <laughs> who has a history of stealing animals and other live, lively goods. Um, he uh, he's quite large, quite a large creature, character, whatever you want to call him. And he's pretty intimidating. Thank goodness whoops, those are vampire teeth. Thank goodness he's bound in um, uh, shackles. Lord knows how long it took to get him into those shackles um, and how long of an adventure and fight you had that led up to that but all you know is that he's you finally captured him and now you're going to turn the reward in and it's really exciting because you've been traveling for essentially days and you're trying to get this guy turned in alive because if you turn him in dead the reward is not nearly as much as if you turn him in alive if anything it's worthless it wasn't worth the trip. So he's got to go in alive. Terrence does not talk very much either. But let me just tell you, he is not very happy to be here, obviously. I'm sure you can imagine why. And he's all caught, kind of scraped up. And he's also in this carriage, right? So you guys are in this big kind of carriage. Um... Uh, one person is sitting in the back watching the prisoner who's like kind of in this big cage looking thing almost like there's bars and he's in the back Terrence and then we'll say Carlos would be in the no 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 no, no. the goblin of course would be inside and then Carlos is um right uh, the driving the carriage of course with his main character energy maybe these are switched maybe he would make he would be inside and make no, but he doesn't want to be near the prisoner. He can't be. He can't bear to be near him. But he doesn't want to be in the rain either. So I'm 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 conflicted on who is where. But it, it doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, <laughs> the horse is gone, and one of the wheels appears to have fallen off and broken off of the carriage. All right, here we go. The gifts are in the way a little. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Uh, yo, Shaggy and Scooby, you're gonna have to move. <laughs> this guy... I think this goblin on the far right can probably just go away. I can make him a little smaller, like that. Um, and this wizard can probably fuck off a little bit, too. Hopefully that's better. Medieval. Oh, yeah, sorry. This story... Yeah, this is kind of like, um... This is kind of like, uh, I want to say, like, two, like, 13th, 14th century, like, yeah, like, um, uh, 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 gun, some kind of, I think there's gunpowder, maybe, um, but it's not really prevalent everywhere, and, like, um, I'm kind of just making this up, but, um, mostly medieval, like, fantasy world kind of style. Um, there is magic, and it's kind of just, like, classic mana, but, um, uh, like not everybody can do magic and like people who can like they don't like like they hate you so <laughs> that's like another thing in this like world i guess 
Um. Um. Hold on, I'm just trying to find some good, some good music here. Some good music. Um. But it's, yeah, it's kind of like classic e fantasy world-y, dark ritual-y world. Okay. Now the question I have for my lovely viewers and lovely chatters is what are we going to do? And the way this works is you can kind of just go, um, uh, you can either just say what you want or you can go like as Yosef or as Y or whatever works for you. Um, as Joe, I, um, you know, grab, um, uh, uh, Carlos, um, by the throat and choke slam him into Terrence. You know what I mean? Like that. You just, like, write, like, what you're doing as that character. And then we'll kind of go in order, or, like, we'll... Try not to overlap, I guess. Like, say two people write something at the same time. We'll try to do both or pick the one that um, you know, makes the most sense or just whatever. I'm not too worried about it. We're, I think, whatever, however, um, it should be fun. Regardless, it should, it should, it should. Why did I just say that? Like, I know it's going to work out. What I'm trying to say is I think whatever we do, we'll figure a way to make it work. Um, yeah, for sure. When there's a battle, I'll switch to, like, the darkest dungeon. Like, dun, 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 dun. You know what I mean? What did Cat just roast me on? Kill the orc. I hate how he's looking at me. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. We're Yosef, my boy. Um, uh, can I use my lighter to slightly light up the wagon? To just burn it? Interesting. Um, yeah, you theoretically could. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, when there's a battle playing, Yosef uses his magic lighter to slightly light up the wagon. To light it up. Oh, to see better. I thought you meant to, like, burn it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, Yosef climbs down, pulls out his magic lighter. All oh, right, that's Carlos. Um, Yosef gets out of the van and kind of in the dark, in the spooky rain. Um, I also do have, uh, hold on one sec, guys. Pardon the interruption. That's so loud. Click to toggle between loop. Can you guys hear the rain? Hope you guys can actually hear that. Oh, you better not be, like, spamming that at me. Every time it loops. That's crazy. Oh, God. That's why I didn't finish my soundboard. <laughs> All right, well, if that actually is going to spam that at me, then I'm not going to do it. Whatever. Who cares? Anyway, uh, let's see. Let me read chat a little. to pick his nose without even trying to hide it <laughs> we we hear <laughs> okay oh okay okay all right all right so 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 narpler walks over um narpler why did i say narpler that's fucking yosef jesus yosef walks over with his with his um with his light and he's trying to see even four feet in front of him but the rain is so heavy that it's almost impossible to see um, completely leaving Terrence, um, left unattend uh, unattended. <laughs> Carlos! Carlos gets down. And, um, he, he comes to Nobbler and looks at him and probably says something. <laughs> Carlos was currently picking his nose and didn't really pay attention. But he gets embarrassed easily, so he... And, <laughs> and then, uh, Yosef says, 
Um, um, what the sigma are you doing? <laughs> Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> I can't do this. And, um, hold on. Let <laughs> me just start it, too. Hold on. I can't, I need five. No, this is like battle music. Why is all of that battle music? Okay. <laughs> I can't do this. Just... <laughs> I actually can't play this anymore. <laughs> oh my god, we we didn't even start yet. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm actually crying, dude. Yeah, <laughs> just fire lizard's message. <laughs> oh my god. My old stomach hurts. Ow. <laughs> dude. Oh my god, ow. Ow, dude. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ow. Ow. I feel like drama after like he just has like a migraine from laughing. Holy shit. <laughs> he says... He says, um, Joseph, you've got, you've got, you've got to, I can't even say it. I can't, I can't even say it. Can someone please come up with another line of dialogue? I'm getting a drink. I can't, I can't even say the line. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Dude, nothing has happened yet. <laughs> nothing has happened yet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, I no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> do, you, do you, I mean, do you really, do you want to get in? The call? Does it make sense to do a call for this? Hold on. <laughs> oh god. I was gonna just I was gonna just narrate the whole thing. Um. No, yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to do that. I can say the line. I I just I was just. Gets me off guard, I guess. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, here's what we could do. For the next one, maybe it'd be cool to do a call and then, like, actually have everyone have a character. You know what I mean? Because that's a good point for our list. This is kind of design where, like, it, it's, like, round robin style. So maybe we can do, like, because I would love to do a call for, for something like this. And if you guys are, like, digging it, then I would love to do it again. We haven't, like, actually done anything, so let's actually start. Okay, I'm gonna, like, be serious. Okay. Carlos says, you... Carlos says, Joseph, you've got to watch the prisoner. I'm digging for gold here. Carlos barks... <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't... Okay, here's the... You guys want to know the funniest... <laughs> you guys want to know the funniest part? I didn't... I didn't even read that bottom part. I 
didn't even I didn't even read that bottom part. I didn't even read the bottom part of that message. But listen, that was that was that was maybe the hardest thing you've ever made me laugh like in my entire like time. At least not in person. Cause I know I've laughed harder, I feel like, in person. That was unbelievable. Oh my god. Okay, alright, here we go. He tells him to go back. Okay. He tells him to go back. Just trying to find some music for that fits this. I'm sorry. I didn't really have all the, the tracks planned out, you know. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Give me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, all right. So, um, uh, uh, Yosef, go back to the cart. Go back to the cart, you fool. Um, Yosef, uh, turns around, um, uh, to, uh, to go back into the cart. Um, and, uh, he, uh, you know, he's got the lighter so he can, he can barely see here. And, uh, just as he's stepping up into the cart, um, uh, just as he's stepping up into the cart, his face is smashed. Boom! Right in the face. Just like clocked. Headbutted. He shrieks in pain. Yes! <laughs> and falls backwards. In his blinding, like, you know, like just headache situation that has just occurred he just barely noticed and smelled the familiar breath of Terence who was just headbutted who was just headbutted Yosef and is going to make a mad dash for the forest okay Carlos what's the move Yosef is currently um he's taking it turned off Any Carlos errors in chat? I'll put Carlos on screen just to remind you of his abilities and powers. Ow! That, oh, that hurt! Ah, it's, and he burns himself. Then he gives himself a strength buff. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. He's he's accidentally buffed himself slightly. Give him the dance of love. Oh shit! Just bust out the dance of love, like straight up. All right. You know what that means, wayward. Twelve. <laughs> You're a lucky contestant. All right, wayward. You are going to be the very lucky and very, very exciting for me um, to introduce the the first person to do the combat of of the um, of my uh, RPG. So um, I'd like you to uh, turn your attention to the screen. Um, for combat, uh, we have a slightly um, unique system. Let me open up the combat music, which I think would be you know very fitting here. Um, let's see, we have a dark messiah, we also have a darkest dungeon, so let's do a little bit of combat in the ruins, combat in the ruins. The combat. Okay, Wayward, are you ready? We're gonna need you here. Everyone in chat, give him some love, because Wayward is going to have to take a test. A test of strength, a test of agility, a test of magic, and skill. Okay, how this is gonna work is... 
Uh, I'm gonna put a timer on screen. No, I know, excuse me, I know there's a slight delay, but this is very important that I say this now, and I would appreciate it, and I, you know, you know I love all you guys, but I would really appreciate this. With this system, you can really easily cheat, but I, I know that, 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 that you guys will not cheat, because it's stupid. So just don't, please don't, okay? It, it would ruin the game. So, so when I say that, uh, I'm going to show you something on screen, basically. And you'll have a certain amount of time to, like, do the, like, thing. And, um, just don't pause the stream. You know, you know what I mean? Don't Google it. Don't look up the answer. Don't, um, you know, just don't cheat. It's stupid. It's for fun, right? So please don't cheat. I trust you guys, though. It'll, I think it'll be really fun. Anyway, so here's the combat system. So, um, uh, basically I'm going to give you a challenge, uh, I have um, some categories here. I have um, some math, <laughs> uh, some mazes, some memory, some miscellaneous. We have some spots and some trivia, some word problems, and some word categories. Here are some categories. Um, I'm going to give you a category, and uh, can I phone a friend? Um, not, maybe, like, yes. So, so, yes, if, like, you don't think you can do this, you can pass it to someone else who plays this character. But, um... Since you called that this is the thing you wanted to do, I think I'm going to have you do it, which makes sense here. I know, I know. I was originally going to do dice, but I actually think this is way more fun. And it might take a little longer, but I think it'll be a little more fun and entertaining. And if it sucks, whatever. It sucks. Okay, anyway, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to turn the music off just for a second so we can do this, so we can focus on this first one. Okay, Wayward. I'm going to show you um, an image. You're going to have uh, uh, 20 seconds to study the image. Then as quickly as you can, after the time is up, after the time is up, you're going to write as many items that you can remember from the image. Okay? Let me know if you understand the rules. So, let's just explain it one more time. You're going to look at the image. Try to remember as much as you can. Don't write anything down. Just look at the image. After the timer's up, you can start writing in chat all the items you can remember. Awesome. Here we go. Ready? Everyone in chat can cheer them on. Um, hopefully the image quality is, is big enough. I'm going to make it as big as I can here. And just... And this is... I'm exciting. I'm really excited. So here we go. Um, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Here is your image. Timer starts. Music's back. I'm not going to say anything. You soak it in. If you're playing, if you're watching in chat, you can play along too if you want. But just don't write anything in chat. Okay. Looks like that's time. Okay. Wayward. Go. No, nope, letter not you. <laughs> No, this is not everyone. This is just Wayward. <laughs> Sorry if that was confusing. Just Wayward. Can you think of any other ones, Wayward? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was first first time. I didn't really explain that very well. This is just one person at a time. We can do a team one when it's like a team effort, but for this one, it was just one. He's got one more. He's cooking. He's going back in the stream. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is actually not bad. Crab, hammer, pliers, hat, boat, elk, magnet, train. Okay, furry bag. Okay, I warn. I will warn you though, Wayward. Everyone you say that doesn't is not on there is going to be a minus point. So if there's no crab, you're going to lose a point. So are you are you sure you want to say furry bag? <laughs> Take off furry bag. Okay, I think that's. I like that. I think that's a good idea. Okay, locking it in. Here we go, chat. You ready? 
So uh, the, the, the goal, so how this kind of works is you have a threshold. If you meet the threshold, this is kind of like the the, 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 the the hit die. If you hit the threshold, all the extra is um, is damage, okay? All the extra is damage. Um, or it'll be like the threshold plus all the extra. But for this, I think it'll just be all the extra. Um, so, uh, for example, the way where it's first try, this is very, very good. I would say you did a really good job. Here's our image. Wayward said crab, hammer, pliers, hat, boat. It's, it's interesting how, like, you can see how he looked, where he looked on the screen. Magnet. Oh, sorry. Elk. Magnet. Yep, there's magnet. Train. Surprise, you missed airplane and boat. Oh, no, no, you did get boat. You did get boat. Okay, you missed airplane. That's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just roasting you. Dude, my memory's dog shit, too. I can't wait for me to do one of these on stream and look like a fucking total asshole. And then you got, um, a gun. So, um, I'd say you got them all. And there was no furry bag, uh, I'm pretty sure. So I'm, I was smart of taking that off. There's a basket and a hat, but there, I don't believe there's a furry bag. So round of applause to, uh, to Wayward. I'd say he totally crushed it first time. You beat the threshold, so let's tally up what you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. It's very impressive. Very totally epic. Um, so that means you did four damage. Okay, back to the story. So, as Terrence makes a mad dash for the forest, in the dark, Carlos runs. He witnesses this horrible event, and he begins casting his magic. He begins dancing and, 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 and just lighting the ground of flight and going in all sorts of directions. Wait a minute, you cast... Wait, you cast... Wait, you cast this... This doesn't do damage. <laughs> Why did I think it did? I thought you cast Dancing Flame. <laughs> so I, I... Okay, okay. That was my bad. That was my bad. I, I thought you cast... um. For some reason, I thought you cast Dancing Flame. Okay, okay. So so instead, we'll do... um. We'll just do that... that Because I was supposed to do a true or false then with you for that. Like a, like you win or succeed or fail. But I, I kind of thought you were doing damage. So that was my bad. So since you succeeded, um, this works. And we'll, we'll... Yeah, we'll say you got plus four to self. So currently, right now... I'm going to use purple to represent uh, temporary. So currently, right now, you buffed uh, every stat you have by four. Which is actually crazy. Oh, I should probably actually make this on a temporary sheet. Nah, it's fine. Okay, um, you're buffing all your stats by four, and you're buffing all of, uh, uh, where the hell? You're buffing all of, um, uh, Carlos's stats, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Joseph, you're, buff you're buffing all his stats by plus two. Okay, sweet. Okay, <laughs> yo, horror, what's up, dude? We're playing our RPG. It's very exciting. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a uh, clusterfuck, but it's very exciting. Um, not Left 4 Dead, but yeah. Okay, so Carlos dances in the love and the flames and lights and ignites the spirit and energy into his boy. And Yosef quickly and surely and, and confidently stands tall and brave. I'm alive. I'm here. I'll get that bastard for what he did. He's kind of bleeding a little on the forehead. It's kind of bleeding a little on the forehead. Um, okay, any, any Yosefs in chat? Any Yosefs? Terrence is currently sprinting to the forest. He is, he is, he is sprinting to the forest edge here. If this is the, like, pathway you guys are on right now, he is, like, probably 100, 200 feet out and he's about to make a mad dash into the tree line which is surrounding you on both sides if he makes it to this tree line this kid is gone i mean this kid is gone it's it's pouring rain it's dark i did i did he's got a strength buff oh don't forget the lighter strength buff right yes yeah, sorry <laughs> my bad my bad 
the plus one. Okay. This kid got plus one strength. Actually, plus three, because all this. And this is plus two to everything. All right, here, one sec. Oh, these are, these are the spells. Gold, that's a fantastic idea. But Gold, you are controlling Yosef. We gotta pursue this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, what spells? Yeah, these are the spells down here. Uh, safe drop and uh, magic pickpocket and uh, phasing. Because of his slowness, Yoinky Splunky uh, says, fill with adrenaline before running at Terrence and hitting with my brass knuckles, poisoning him. Alright, that's a move. That's a move. Um, okay. Okay, Yosef, with an exceedingly high speed and strength, makes a full sprint at Terrence, <sighs> trying to chase after him. Now, Terrence is a huge dude, so every one of his steps is significantly a, a greater distance than your tiny little steps. So... To make contact with him with the Brass Knuckles would be very challenging. However, what items do you have exactly? It would be conceivable that you could drop a safe on him. Because this does just use a dist like a distance. Like you can as long as you see the location of where you want to drop the safe, you theoretically could. You could also throw this item, which is fine. But I don't think you can actually get to him in time. To hit him. If that makes sense. I mean we can we can we can try to see if you do. But I don't know if that's if that's the most viable strategy here. I mean I'm not gonna argue. If you want to try to do it, you can try to do it. Mega trolling. What the what what is the crab? What are you talking about? This? Oh true, you are faster from the buff. Right, okay. All right, that's 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 validated enough. That's validating enough to me that you're faster because of the buff. Okay, you sprint at this motherfucker, and you pull out the knuckles, knuckles. And Terrence is like, he turns back and looks at you with like one last like, oh shit, like in his eyes, like do like the whole like, <laughs> like Patrick, <laughs> when you know like when he's running away from Sandy, as you beef on this guy. Okay, ready. All right, give Narkler some hype in chat. He's about to have to do a test of strength. Okay, so Narkler, how this works is we're going to check your stats. So you actually have a plus three strength bonus, which means we're going to add three seconds to your clock. And those precious three seconds can make all the difference. Okay. All right. Let's see here. So, our next challenge. Are you ready? Narpler, are you ready? This is not for anyone else in chat, just so there's no confusion. This is just for Narpler. Narpler, I'm gonna give you a sequence of numbers. You're going to have to study them in any way you like. You can, you can do some weird maths, you can use like some crazy energy, like math kid energy. But you're going to have to memorize these numbers, and you're going to have to put them in chat. As many as you get right in the right order, that's how many, that's how many, um, that's basically how many points you're going to get for this. Okay, ready? I'm going to show you the image. Whoops, don't look at that. I'm going to show you the image, uh, in, uh, three, two, one. Just memorize, don't. Right yet. You're not, you can write once um, the timer's over, okay? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, memorize. All right. Total focus. All 
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Your time is up. Begin writing in chat, in order. Um, from the top left corner, you know, to the bottom right. <laughs> I ended up having to come down and work in the bar tonight. You're working in the bar? In the bar? In the bar? You work in a bar? What? Horror, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to elaborate on that for me. Okay. Okay. Narpler has locked in. My brain is too small for this. That's dude, you probably did a lot better than I could have, honestly. Alright, let's check your math. Here we go. 15, 38, 30, 10, 70, oh, okay, 99, and 91, I'm sorry, Narpler, I'm sorry, I can only give you four, I can only give you four, that was a very good attempt, that was a very good attempt, unfortunately, unfortunately, you couldn't reach him, you couldn't reach him. As you sprint after Terrence, full sprint, full speed, Terrence makes googly eyes at you and just beams himself into the woods, diving headfirst into the bushes, completely disappearing into the mist and rain. Terrence is gone. Yosef lies there in a puddle. Of frustration, anger, sadness, frustration. He feels the weight of the situation. He feels almost entirely responsible. Carlos, what will Carlos think of me? What, what will we do for money? I'm poor. I have nothing. We needed that. Everything was riding on this bounty and he just got away. Nothing. Th there's nothing that could happen that's worse. What What more could go wrong today? <laughs> I do maintenance on kitchen equipment downtown since they use all my old kitchen. Dude, that's crazy. That's awesome. I had no idea you were doing that. <clears throat> downtown, like, in Genesee. Um, Genesee County? <laughs> um, never mind. Scratch that. Anyway, interesting. Okay, frog moment. Also good, I respect a man who can repair machines. I have one more idea. He got sent into the fog. He is now a dead by daylight character. <laughs> I knew you, Wayward, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Kill Jester. <laughs> uh, but it's, but it's, um, it's, 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 it's Jingles. Jingles, the friendly elf. You can't win without Jingles. Kill Jester. She's shite. <laughs> I love that. Do a perception to try to track him. Ooh. Now wait. Now Fire Lizard. Let's think on his toes here. So I'm not gonna lie. Joseph is defeated. He is. He is in no mood to be tracking anyone. However, Carlos. However, Carlos. Does Carlos have the skills and mindset to be tracking this lumbering beast? Carlos does have one perception. Whereas Yosef has zero. Whereas Yosef has zero. Also, I think, um, in the, like, going forward, oh my god, you actually have five perception. Holy shit. Okay, Carlos has fucking five perception right now. Carlos is feeling very perceptive. <laughs> okay. Okay. New file. Uh, should we be saving these? I, I don't know if we need to. Um, chapter one. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Carlos approaches our poor, sorrowful goblin who is so wallowing in his own filth, he's forgotten how to breathe. 
<laughs> Carlos, do you say any words of comfort? Any words of encouragement? <laughs> A anyone who's playing Carlos. Or do you just ignore him and go right into the bushes? These are trees. Okay. I think fuck. Yosef is blind. No wonder he missed. <laughs> Wait, is he actually blind? <laughs> he was supposed to have an eye patch. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, he has zero <laughs> perception. Well, actually, he had plus two, I guess, technically. But yeah, he's dog shit. He's blind. Um, okay, I'll save it all. Grr, angry. Joseph says lying on the floor, sad as fuck, wanting to burn the forest down. Grr, angry. He's like, is he like, is he got like some sort of like craniological issue? Grr, he's mad. Who's Carlos? So I need Carlos. Carlos encourages Joseph to curb his arsonist tendencies. Um, uh, Joseph, uh, please. Get a hold of yourself! Get a hold of yourself! We can still find him! We spent days, weeks, looking for him and captured- We- we captured him! There's nothing that can stop us. We're going to get him back, you see? We're going to get him back! And he's like shaking him, and he's like- <gasps> <laughs> Like bug-eyed, like, like tears, like snot, like pouring down his face. <laughs> You see, we'll get him, you see! Don't worry, we'll get him! How's that? Was that good? Light a fire burning the fog away. Well, there's not, I mean, the, well, there is kind of some fog. It's more that it's just fucking pouring, like... So tracking him is going to be ac actually quite difficult. But, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Carlos, um... There actually is a lantern on the uh, carousel. Um, so... Or, sorry, not the fucking carousel, the carriage. There's, uh, one of those, like, hanging lanterns. So, um, with that, you can, uh, get some extra light. Because otherwise, the, the little, the little lighter that, uh, what's-his-name has is not gonna be nearly enough. So, uh, uh grabbing the, 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 the light, the, the torch, the lamp in, in earnest, you set out into the dark. Unless there's anything else you want to do, Carlos. Car Carlos is out there. Carlos, Car Team Carlos. Unless you guys are all good with that. Now, the question is, what the hell is Team Joseph doing? <laughs> Team Yo. Team Yo. During all this. He gives him a piece of gold down in his pocket. <laughs> we do a little... We do... <laughs> We're going to be doing a little trolling. <laughs> Yosef mutters. Pulling out, I love it. It's like written like it's like a book. Pulling out the lighter while doing a troll face. Uh, three and four, I believe. It actually surprisingly working really well. It's mostly three and three. We have gold, narpler, and cat. Um, and then we have fire lizard, wayward, and letter playing Carlos. <laughs> That's so fucking funny to me. Horror, if you want to jump in um, at any point, you can play. Uh, you would be team uh, Carl. Uh, You'd be Team Carlos. I can put you down in case you want to jump in. There you go. Okay. Whoops. This is chapter two. Hope you guys are having fun. I know I am. I am! <laughs> NOT SCIENTIFICALLY POSSIBLE! <laughs> Get out of my face. Alright, alright. I want to have my head in a deep fryer. <laughs> oh, that's okay. This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Be team whatever, I, don't, I haven't done Jack. Cat? Well, why? Well, you don't type in chat, that's what I was talking about. See, you don't type in my chats. You're Yosef, bro. Okay, anyway, uh, Carlos sets out into the forest, um, to search after this lumbering figure in the night. I really need my sound effects menu, dude. I'm 
I'm so pissed about that. I can't even get my rain loop going. See, if I hide my, like, the, mute, the rain loop, the problem is I think it'll keep spamming me with notifications. Unless I can somehow, like, turn that off. Hold on. Notifications. I'm going to see if I can turn that off real quick. How would I turn off notifications for, like, a specific thing? I mean, I can literally just get notifications from apps and other centers. Like, I just check that box and just turn it off. The only problem is then we won't see the timer, which... I mean, I, I'm, like, watching it on screen, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna turn off notifications briefly so we can have, like, a rain track. Is there something for me setting the bush on fire? Wait, for I still have the buff? Yeah, you guys technically still have them briefly. They're not gonna last forever, though. So they might, like, wear off in the middle of the hunt. But the buff is, like, kind of, like, a, a short-term inspiring thing, right? Um... Okay, so, Carlos, you're about to set off into the forest. And as you begin to wander and tr begin your tracking, which is in greatly increased, your skills of tracking almost, like, come from sort of a sort of surge of courage. You begin to look at the trail, and you begin to spot certain meaty, large, orcish footprints. Right away. I mean, you you you, fa you remember where he like uh, relatively went. So, well, at least at least Joseph does. But you didn't even need to do much remembering. You you just kind of look. You can see all the tray, like all the branches broken. It's not very hard to hide an ogre, right, running through the forest. So it's very easy to track. So, um, let's do a little check, shall we? Uh, fire lizard, <laughs> you're up, buddy. If you uh would be so kind. Fire Lizard, um, I'd like you to make a perception check. Is that cool with you, or do you have a sec? That would make sense since Yosef would be confident would be confident in his speed. Um so uh mental damage, uh yes, you're demoralized. That would be a minus that would be a minus two intelligence. <laughs> Uh, Team Edward, thank uh, Narpler for helping us nerf the character. I'm kidding. No, you're right. He would. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Fire Lizard. So I got one for you. This one should be um, a little easier based on the easiness of the challenge. So based on the difficulty, right? So um, don't look at the screen for a second. Okay. I caught that pretty fast. Okay. I'm going to give you some images. Um, you're going to have some time to remember them all, and you're going to wait till they're... Wait till the timer's over, and then you're going to write them in chat. So I'm pretty sure you're going to have an extra, like, five seconds. So here we go. Are you ready? Study the images. Car Cardsmith? What? <laughs> Did you just make Carlos as a guard? Wait, hey, actually... You did not just do that. You did not just do that. What? <laughs> that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh, wow. We really should have, like, AI art, like, fucking making this shit for us. That's <laughs> exactly what he looks like. That's like exactly what he looks like. How the hell did you do that? Hold on, hold on. This is really important. Dude, that's so, that's so good. It's so good. Wait, 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 wait. This is like actually super important. Dude, I can't believe, I actually can't believe you got it that good though. I mean, yeah, like, the AI, but the, I didn't know the AI was like that goaded. Holy fuck, dude! Okay, well that's awesome. I, well, you're goaded for actually just doing that because that's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. I'm gonna have this like on screen. I'm actually very tempted to put this image. Um, hold on. If I save this, 
Uh, if I save this, I can put this on like my OBS. I think we're good to just put this here for now, just just so we like have a reference for the character. Can you make yo? Can you make yo? Can you make Yosef as well? We'll do that after. Hold on, you have to do your test. Hold on. Okay, ready? Can I go to the other guy? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do the test first. Test first. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. You're going to memorize all the images. Then once the timer's up, you're going to write them all in chat. Here we go. Go. Seven seconds. That's time. All right, wish uh, Fire Lizard luck here. This is a uh, pretty. This is a pretty crucial one. Um, so I don't want to tell you that the DC, but I, I'm gonna. I gotta write it down. So you need to hit the 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 the, the threshold. You have to get a certain amount, and then if you do, you you succeed. I love that you fucking made this, dude. Oh, I'm not signed in. Shit. <laughs> well, that's fucking incredible. I, a, he actually is a bard. No, no, that's per, that's perfect. When he, he surveils these orcish footprints. We shall track him through the woods. <laughs> you did that like instantly. Dude, that's so funny. If anyone wants to like do art, this also applies to you, Cat Bear. If anyone wants to make art, AI or not. Um, oh shit, I checked a box before the stream started that said, like, is AI art or not AI art, and I actually said no, but, um, I guess it's not my art, so, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to make art for during the stream, it's wholeheartedly supported, it's actually really, really cool. So, anyway, let's see what we got here. Okay, Fire Lizard, uh, let's see. Feather, swan, pyramid, beetle, house, car, soccer ball, comb, clock. I think there was a cow, but don't count it. I'm not sure. Okay, so not putting cow. Ooh. Let's check them out, boys. There actually was a cow, but we're not going to count that. Feather, swan, pyramid, beetle, house, car, soccer ball, Home and clock. Round of applause. Round of applause. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, all right, let's count these up. Feather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My dude. You did pretty good. You did pretty good. So I'll just tell you the threshold was seven. The threshold was seven. You got it. And we'll, uh, we'll get to the story here. So, Carlos, upon walking, tracking through, thinks to himself, this is not going to be a challenge at all. This humbling ogre can't go anywhere. I can't find him. As you study and survey the land, you have almost a second sense about you. As you watch and see the footprints begin to start to almost kind of circle around and he almost appears lost as you stumble your way following the broken tree branches and busted up rakes and leaves you come into a clearing actually let's do it this way you come into a clearing <laughs> I'm actually just gonna can I wipe this one no this is chapter two you come into a clearing, and your lantern actually gets quite a bit of vision, so I would say quite a bit. There's trees everywhere, though, and you are just wandering through the forest right now. But it's pretty easy to follow your footsteps behind where you've left, because you actually did, you have, you have such a high perception right now and such a keen sense that you're fine. You um, make your way through into this open clearing, and you see this. 
some kind of building, some kind of structure. You can't quite make it out as it's very dark. But you see the faint outlines of windows and a door. It almost appears as though this is some kind of cottage hidden in the woods. All right. Carlos's? Any Carlos's in chat? Just a heads up. Yosef is back at the carriage. Just just to say before any... Just so everyone knows that. All right, letter. I mean, you, it's your guys. It's it's. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. The, I'm I'm just merely the narrator. I'm not the, the actors. Carlos gang, you are the actors, the writers of the story. What happens to Carlos? What is his decision? What will he do? The footprints, by the way. The footprints, by the way. Come into this clearing. However, the clearing is quite mucky, and there's actually a lot of footprints that begin to mix and muddle with the ogre. So it is not quite, cl it is not quite clear where and in what direction he went in. So there's a bit of confusion. Carlos gang, we're waiting. And or Yosef gang. I'm gonna draw Yosef. Very right, awesome. <laughs> Letter. Carlos continues straight. Okay. He continues straight. Carrying his light. His only source of sight. He continues straight. Illuminating, studying every footprint. Every direction. There appear to be... Horse hooves? Hmm. There appear to be some other kind of animal. Maybe some sort of pig of some kind. You're not quite sure. You notice a pile of logs and timber stacked outside of the house. You look up, and as you get closer, you begin to see just what exactly you're looking at does appear to be some kind of cabin that does look lived in. The walls are quite scratchy and the paint is chipped on many sides. But it's also quite homely and there's a almost like a fuzzy kind of warm moss that is surrounded. Wet and damp all across the house. Vines covering it. Concealing it. Covering the rooftop. As the rain pitchers and patches And you stand over the awning, a little porch, to stay out of the rain as you contemplate your next action. All right, Carlos Gangers, what's the play? Do we even tell Yosef? What do we do? Yosef not needed? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> No longer needed. Baby dead or whatever the fuck. Fire lizard knows what I'm talking about. He also contemplates his next action. I just can't get over this fucking image. Try to signal Yosef with the lantern. Ooh, okay. That's kind of a good one. Yosef! Do you call to him? <laughs> Johnny Top. Um, do you, do you, do you call to Yosef? Or no? This is actually kind of important. Ooh, okay. With the lantern. All right, this is going to be tricky. Here we go. Are you ready for the for the first new challenge? We have a new, new challenger arrives. Okay. <laughs> so this one is going to be a little different. Okay, hold on. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't have the perception bonus anymore. Okay. It's gone. It's worn off. 
Oh dear god, it's lagging. So you have plus one perception. So the timer is actually... Oh, come on, you little shit. 21. All right, ready? Uh, f f uh, Golden. At this point, I'm just listening because I was mad busy. Oh, no, you're okay. Golden, you want to do this challenge? Golden, I know you're, I know you're technically Yosef, but um, I think we'll let it slide. Unless Narpler... Oh, no, Narpler's also Yosef. You don't want to do the challenge. Okay, all right. Well, Fire Lizard... Wait, Fire Lizard, you just did one. Hey, uh, well, let's let's go back to Wayward. Wayward, um, uh, do, 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 are you ready for a challenge? <laughs> oh, God, please, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I want to make sure we cycle. Um, I was considering making you do a fire only only because you, you it was like your action, but yeah, I think we should. Let, let's let Wayward do it or Letter if they're around. Letter or Wayward, whoever chimes in first here. All right, you ready? So, Wayward, you're doing um, a spot it challenge. Uh, if you can basically spot the image, uh, you're looking for Waldo, by the way. If you can correctly identify where Waldo is, um, and how we're going to do this is I'm going to um, put this image on screen, and then you can just write where he is. Like, for example, say he's standing next to the guy in the blue suit who's selling, you know, vacuum or whatever. You'd write, you could just write that. You can write it during the challenge, or you can just write it at the end once the time is up. Um, but you basically have to find Waldo. If you find him, you win. Okay? You understand? All right, here we go. You got 21 seconds. Good luck. Where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah, Waldo is in the striped fella. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't know who Waldo or where Waldo. I didn't know if I needed to give context to where Waldo was or who Waldo is. Do you want? An, do you need an extra ten seconds? Because I can give you by the shoe table, like above it. Yeah, you got it. Yep, there he is. There's our furry friend. <laughs> 20 seconds. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed you got that. Considering you asked who who's Waldo, who asked who is Waldo again? The striped fella? Yeah, for real. I can't. I actually, that's actually crazy. That would take me 10 minutes. How? <laughs> You're cracked, at Waldo. Well, okay, you you threw me for a loop because you. I thought you got you didn't know who Waldo was. I guess that was confusing. I said just randomly said Waldo. That was insane, actually, that you found him in 30 and 20 seconds. <laughs> nice job. That was good. The question is, where the fuck that wizard bro? What are you talking about? This fucking guy? <laughs> Where's the wizard? What are you talking about? What the fuck? Alright, alright. I'm gonna identify you guys right now. This is Wayward. This is <laughs> this is Narpler. <laughs> this is um Carlos. <laughs> oh, that's that's me. That's me. This is this is Letter. Main character energy. That's Cat actually. No, no, that's Cat right there. <laughs> um, Fire Lizard, you are <laughs> not that fucking guy. <laughs> Oh shit. That's you. That is literally you and that's that's um no, that wouldn't be Gromit haha, but that's definitely you. Gromit haha can be Oh shit. That's okay, that might be me though. <laughs> Gromit haha. It got to be this gay. Got to be this gay. No, no. It No, this is me. This is me. <laughs> Why did I do that? Narpler. <laughs> and Golden. Where's Gold? Gold is this kid. That's Gold. I don't know, dude. That's funny. Dude, where's Waldo's are actually really fun. I'm gonna grab another one, because I actually only had the one where's Waldo. 
Um, I do have a couple ice spies. But I, I want to grab one more Where's Waldo. I usually vet these uh, before I download them. Just to make sure, like, you know, how hard they are or whatever. But it's fucking Where's Waldo. I'm gonna make sure he's at least on the page. God, you guys ever done the one where it's like only Waldo? It's like all Waldos on screen. Yeah, this one. <laughs> that one in the in the in the side there. That one's ridiculous. It's not even like fair. It's like all the Waldos are like slightly aloof. Oh, this one looks horrible. It sent me to Amazon. Yeah, I think that's the problem with also a lot of the Where's Waldo's is it's like hard to actually see like what is even happening in the image because they're so small. Like, can you even see this image? Holy sh- No, you can't! <laughs> okay, can anybody- This is just for fun. Can anybody spot Waldo? Like, actually? Because I don't even think that's like legend. Find Goku. Wizard Whitebeard, that motherfucker. He's the Waldo wizard. Bro got group image. Oh, it just disappeared. Because I deleted it. Okay, well, whatever. I found a wizard. I I deleted the image. <laughs> he was at the bottom of the page. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the image is gone. I deleted it by, <laughs> by accident slash on purpose. So, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's continue our quest. So, you found Waldo. You use the lantern to shine the light and almost flashing it, turning it sideways, back and forth, to basically communicate a hidden message to Yosef, who promptly dashes through the forest in an attempt to reach you. Going a different way, though. I do need slightly different. Where is, like, spooky music? There we go. There we go, finally. Dude, you want a hardware as well to check out the game on the NES sometime? Oh, God, that sounds fun as hell. I actually probably have it by accident, because I have uh, a, an, an, uh, what is it called? A, an emulator that's got, like, all the NES games, so I feel like that'd be really fun to, like, fuck around with. Let me know if the music's too loud or whatever. Alright, I'm cracked because of those lumpy touch shorts. What the hell? Lumpy touch. Look at Discord? Oh shit. Sorry. What do we got? Discord's blowing up. Oh, and Code Chocolates. <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> wait, that's amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, I need this image. He's a giga. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> He's like distorted. Wait, 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 hold on. I can like put him in here and like cut him out. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I think there's a way to just like Hey, how you doing? <laughs> for real. Is that F, F... For real? Or is that... What does that say? Fi, fee, fo, fum. Carlos. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. So, Yosef. On your route to get to, uh... <laughs> If you see this man, you are dead. Wait, is this is this Narplin? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I gotta put this in uh, on stream. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at yeah. Look at Yosef. It's Yosef. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I love that. I already got fan art. This is awesome. <laughs> Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh my God! The fan art is blowing up. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm 
I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dude, this is too good. Oh, that's just too good. Look at this guy. Dude, that's actually fucking funny. That's really fun. These are actually hilarious, dude. Dude, these are perfect. Oh my god, it even has the transparent ba background. We gotta put these as, like, the, like, player icons. We should be playing this in tabletop. I do kind of like drawing it, though. It's kind of fun. Okay. Okay, 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 wait. Oh, Fee's got one rolling up. Fee. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much for that. And just for participating in this nightmare. I'm so glad it's, like, kind of a little entertaining. Yosef canonically has a peg leg because I created the character. Okay, now. Okay, Narbler. Alright, I mean, yeah, he can have a peg leg, sure. Don't look at this puzzle yet. That's a puzzle for a later day. Um. Okay. Yosef is good. He's the Krenko. <laughs> He's the Krenko. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> look at the little fucking hat. <laughs> and the purple. Oh my god. And the suspenders, dude. I love that these are the characters. Okay. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. Let's get back on the... Let's get back on the... Let's get back on the... On, on the task. Let, 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 let's focus up. Alright. Here's what's going on. Yosef is sprinting through the forest right now. And en route... En route... You're pushing past brush. You're pushing back. You don't know what's going on exactly, Yosef. You're just you just see the light and you have to get your obsessive over it. You he, you know that's your boy calling you. You know it's your boy. And you're just I, I've got to get to him. I've got to get there quickly. I've got to, I got to, I got to. And then boom. Clunk. Crash. You smash into something and knock yourself out again, just like classically, just like before. But you're not knocked out exactly. You've simply bumped into something. Or someone. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> As Yosef shakes stars from his head and looks up at what exactly he's just bumped into. His eyes begin to widen as he sees a derelict, shadowy figure standing in the rain, face concealed, back arched, toting this some sort of carriage of a cart of some kind. Menacingly towering over you with what appears to be these incredibly creepish long fingernails and a presence and aura about him that is screaming to you. Every bone in your body, every hair on end is shaking, screaming, you have to leave, you have to get up. This man, this creature, this thing is going to kill you. This is the last breath you will ever draw. Yosef Chatters, what are you doing? <laughs> I hope you liked that. <laughs> Inconvenient invisibility! <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Please don't be purple. Please don't be purple. Gulp. Yosef gulps. Please don't be purple. Please don't be purple. He shuts his eyes. He literally shuts his eyes. He can't even fathom that this creature is purple. If it isn't bad enough that this demonous monster of a of a creature is standing over him, it would be 10,000 times worse if it was revealed that it was actually purple. Terrified and unable to move, the only thing in his mind being he's obsessed over the color purple. The color purple swirls around his eyes. There is nothing else he can think about except the color purple. He just saw the movie. Pin that. 
can't tell me what to pin. Narpler. You need the boss of me. The streamer. What do you want me to pin? <laughs> Inconvenient invisibility? I'm gonna save really quick. I would argue this is chapter three. Okay. Why he purple? Oh, he hates the color purple. Sorry. I don't know if you got that one. He also hopes he's not a slime. I'm the boss. <laughs> and I've got to get money. <laughs> hey, guys, if you want, just, if you want to just uh, subscribe to my Patreon, you can write in the chat. You can control the characters. Just subscribe to my Patreon. Only $4.99. Only $4.99. There's also a $7 tier to build your own character. All right, guys. I want you to drop that $5. Everyone has $5 in the chat. And I'm kidding, obviously. Okay. Wouldn't it be good if it was purple? Because he would think it's Carlos. Wouldn't it be good if it was purple? Oh, shit. Right. That's actually a really weird problem. Carlos is fucking purple. Actually, weirdly, Carlos is, like, kind of bluish. No, no, he's purple, dude. Dude, that, that's a major writing flaw. Who wrote this shit? <laughs> he fucking hates the color purple. He's actually terrified of it. Chris McLean from... <laughs> I'm, Chris, I'm Chris McLean, and this is Total Drama. Island. You're telling me you're doing fine, but I got you on my mind. I wanna be famous. I wanna fly close to the sun. You pack your bags, cause I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. We'll get there someday. Cause I wanna be famous. Sorry. I was just I was just doing a little little Total Drama Island flex. I fucking love that show. I used to be obsessed with it. I literally paused all our like interactive shit to do that. It's still raining, by the way. I wanna be, I wanna be. I want to be famous. I, I don't want to play it on, on stream because I'm worried I'll get the copyright. And I don't want to get copyrighted for literally just the one fucking song. And I've literally, like, tried to avoid copyright the entire time. So I think we're going to just not play it. But, I, I mean, you guys know. Owen didn't deserve to win. It should have been the tall guy. You thought, you thought freaking, um... No, Duncan should have won? Duncan was like an asshole. He was kind of, he was the bad boy. Owen, I mean... Nobody hated Owen. That was the thing, though. Like, he never had drama. That, That's kind of... You have to think about that. See, it was total drama island, and Owen just dodged all the drama, bro. Okay, anyway. I, this is a fucking role-playing game stream. Okay, uh... What the hell do you guys do? No one even... No one even really... Other than Narpler, we don't really have a coherent response from Yosef. Okay, that's a fair way to... Excuse me, that's a fair way to, like... <laughs> like, like, make a... Like a plot... Like, plot tape. To, like, plot tape over that. That Yosef isn't scared because of the shade of purple. Right, he really hates the, like, deep, like, lilac color purple. I'm, I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. Also, my Yosef chatters, by the way... Which there are four of you. We gotta have some sort of action happen here. I mean, because I, you know, I, I, I could, you know, make up like a, I, the whole point is you, you can, you guys can all the characters. Um. Like the really need to have some like, like, I need more food that's just like conveniently eatable. I don't have to like. Cook it, or I don't know. I mean, that, that's like healthy for you. DJ, yeah, DJ. DJ actually was really like, well, I don't really. I mean, he's kind of just like a little, little bitch sometimes, though. That was a good one. Wait, that was funny. That gave me a good chuckle. 
He hates deep purple. Smoker on the order has him pissed. Golden, you got the drawing? You got it in discard? Improvisation. <laughs> it's a leg. The leg. A leg, dude. Dude, that. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Gold, I'm gonna give you a plus one for that. It's pretty good. That's pretty goddamn great. That's amazing. These are so good, guys. Holy shit. These are amazing. I fucking love that. <laughs> the fan art, like, side. I want those on my OBS, like, low-key. I want to put those on screen, but I'll have to do that later or something. I don't know. All right, all right. Back to this crazy situation. All right, guys. What the heck is this happening? Where's, uh, Yosef? And Carlos. This also could be a Carlos play. Anyone in chat. Anyone in chat. Who has a play here. Oh, right, but Carlos doesn't even know this happened. This is kind of a Yosef moment, guys. I lost the streak. Where is it? I don't know. All right, Narkler with the clutch story. Here we go. Yosef slowly opens his eyes, scared shitless, before realizing that his inconsistent invisibility worked for him once. Worked for once. As the shadowy figure slowly walks past him, Yosef still holds his breath. Wow, okay. Um... I didn't even consider that the invisibility would just wear off. I mean, it would activate, but I guess now is the perfect time for the uh, invisibility. Wouldn't it be? Um, but as a matter of fact, the invisibility won't exactly save him. Because only half of your story is true. As fate would have it, Yosef's invisibility activates, and in a blink, he has put on the one ring and fades away. Uh. And fades away. And fades away. Now, he doesn't even realize he's turned invisible. But he can see the cloaked figure. Look and lean in close. And he can hear the breath of the cloaked figure. Oh my god. My, did you guys hear that noise? That was nuts. That was nuts. -o. That was nuts. -o. Hold on, I have to open my soundboard that I didn't finish making, which makes me angry. That's the sound. <laughs> That's the sound. <laughs> um, as he breathes close, right into Na a Yosef's face, he can feel the breath, the stench of some kind of foul thing, and the creature knows. He is there. There's no fooling this creature. As he raises an arm, this cloaked, clawed, fingered arm. Yosef's, what are we doing? <clears throat> Gold, that's you as well.
<laughs> oh, I know. I just thought you. I just thought I'd remind you. <laughs> All right, we got an art player here. Joseph decides to go with the first thing entering his mind, quickly grabbing the lighter and setting the shadowy figure ablaze. <gasps> That's so good. Okay, so Joseph is freaking panicking right now. I would argue his thinking skills are pretty low. So where's Joseph? Joseph's functioning on functioning on approximately one int right now. And with his one int and his quick draw hand, he grabs the lighter and puts it as as fast as he can right up to the shadowy figure. That's a pretty good move. Okay. All right, Narpler, get ready. <laughs> Your timer is going to be on 21. <laughs> <laughs> look at this fucking desk. Look at look look at this shit. <laughs> These are like Nero Nation brain games. I was trying to like look up like crazy ones. Okay, here we go. What is the number of the part of the parking space containing the car? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This one sucks. <laughs> I'm messing with you. That's like one of those like annoying like. Uh... <laughs> That's like one of those annoying like riddles. That might be for later. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you um, an image. And you're gonna have to memorize... Um, you're gonna have to pick... Okay. <laughs> Cat. Okay, 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 okay. C C C Narpo, this is not easy. Okay? I'm sorry. But you're gonna have to memorize... Um, <laughs> you're gonna have to memorize... <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, I won't get. Okay, I won't make it that hard. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me give you a different one. Okay, all right. You're gonna have a memorization one, but it's gonna be slightly different. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you an image. Don't look at this image yet. And uh, you're gonna have to memorize as many objects on screen. Okay. Um, there'll be a threshold. If you if you can beat it, you uh you can you you'll succeed, and then we'll see how much damage you'll deal. Okay, ready? Just like the first one we did. Just an arpler. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, I was I was gonna give you a kind of a hard one, but I, I, I'm sorry, I I shouldn't for this is like your first one, right, or second one maybe, so that's not really fair. Okay, some of these objects are weird. I'll be honest with you. So I mean, I think that's part of the point actually, but also because this looks like it was made in literally the 1920s. So good luck. All right, you have 20 seconds. Uh, you can study. Please don't cheat. Obviously, I know you won't. Uh, study. Uh, timer goes to zero. Then you can um. Then you can uh, write in chat. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. There's your image. Start the timer. Good luck. <laughs> Give him some love in chat. Oh, we got eight people. Yo. And you can play along in your head too. Uh, three seconds here. Okay, that's it. Time's up. Okay, good luck, Narpler. Give him some love in chat. Some nail biters in chat. <laughs> this is actually a pretty pivotal turn here. I'll be honest, I'm actually surprised how well the, like, quote-unquote combat is working. I kind of was worried it was going to be a huge slog and would stall the game. But it's, 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 it's okay. I mean, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's okay. I don't hate it. Because, you know what? A lot of times combat gets bogged down. It gets really slow. You're constantly just like, okay, I move one unit and I do attack and then and then I rest and then I move and attack. And I, I, I like it to be a little more faster, but I also think it's really cool that it's not... Well, Fire Lizard, I knew you would love this. That this is a no-dice role-playing game. No dice. And I know how much you love... 
lack of RNG. I just thought it'd be fun. I'm glad you like it, Gold. I'm actually really glad you like it. I think it's a fantastic way to play D&D. And just anything like that. Any sort of RPG. Like, if you play... Um... If you play... Um... Uh, with dice, it's, you know, of course it's fine. It's just, like, it's neat if you are, prepared, if you are, like, able to print out a bunch of, like, sheets and stuff. They're all over the internet. So, it's, it's just cool. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, Wayward. No, I, I, I was really excited to, to do it. And I was like, there's, oh, I can't believe, like, this isn't a thing. And maybe it is a thing. I just thought it'd be fun. Because I know there's this one streamer who sort of does stuff like this, but he does it in a very different way. Um, he, he, like, will do, like, math or something crazy. And like, or or I'll have a whole like spinner system. It's nuts. All right, here we go. All right, so the threshold. Um, I actually, uh, I kind of fucked up slightly. Um, uh, so let's uh, let's see what we got here. Um, the 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 threshold here is uh, uh five. So let's uh, count your objects. Here we go. Scorpion. Check. Eye. Check. Cannon. Check. Flintlock. Check. Bell. 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 <laughs> Not seeing a bell. There it is. Uh, tea kettle thingy. We'll give him that. This one or this one. Uh, that's it. I think you're good. I think you're good. Yeah, I think you got it. <laughs> you're good. Yeah. All right. Nice, dude. Okay, now bear in mind, though. A six is only one damage because threshold's five so you got six so you, you you do one damage so it's better than not it not working right then it's just a simulated stroke <laughs> oh that's scary i did not know that was a thing that's actually terrifying anyway okay just as you reach up here with this, as he raises his hand, as this creature, demon, thing, whatever it is, raises its hand, you grab the torch as quickly as possible. This is like circus music. The Dark Mitochondria, that's a good name. You quickly grab the lighter and press it against the robes, the tattered, scarred robes, and you hear a horrible shriek. Ah! Um. And, uh, he backs off. The creature backs off. Um. But just for a moment. Right? Just for a moment. And, um, unfortunately, the invisibility fades off. <laughs> and you appear lying there in fear. And just as fast as you burned your victim, you get to your feet and scramble and slide through the mud and muck to get away from this terrifying creature as you kick your legs back and forth and back and forth to slide away. Um, do you say anything? Does Yosef say anything? Does he, does he do anything? I can't really tell the story without, you know, just controlling the character, so. But you... You, you know, you would succeed at the attack. You would, you know. Say the line, Yosef. He got me! <laughs> I'm gonna eat this little cake. 
while a Yosef in chat tries to decide what they want to do. Also, if anyone has a Carlo move, hit me up with it. Ah! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! As Yosef screams, scared half to death, but somewhat alive, he shrieks. Ah! Ah! And of course, but who nearby hears his cry? But Carlos! Turning around in a flash! What? What was that? And I'm... I'm assuming Carlos is gonna make a run. I mean, I mean, I, I don't really... I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can ask any Carlosers in chat, but I would assume that this is what Carlos definitely would do. Carlos... I hope you guys don't mind if I play the character sometimes. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I don't really, you know, you, you, uh, just tell me if you, if you have a problem with that. Anyway, Carlos makes a sprint. Carlos runs to him. Let's save our boy. He, he, there's no doubt in his mind. He has to go as fast as he possibly can. He actually would be going this way. But, but technically, perspective has changed. And as you roll up, Carlos sprinting, pushing brushes and, and trees all beside him. And he gets there. It takes about a couple minutes, actually, because you were tracking for uh, quite some time. When you finally arrive at where the scream was, all that's left in the dirt, in the mud, in the sinew, is the lighter and an old cart lying there he's gone <laughs> Carlos in Carl any Carlos is in chat who are confused Carlos, beginning to panic, wonders if he ever will see his boy again. Where could he be? Looking around anxiously, sweat beating down his face, mixing, mixing with the rain. What happened here? Where is Car- Where is Yosef? What happened? <laughs> Why does he have me? Dude, I need to, like, save these forever. First of all, why does he have the Infinity Gauntlet? I guess why not, though? <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh, yeah, what's his, like, catch rates? It's might or flight. That's Yosef, but what is, uh, Carlos' his catch rates? I forgot. <laughs> I got to have money. Oh, hey, mama. He arrives, quickly, but surely. Uh, where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, no! First I lose the... First we lose Terrence, and now... My best pal, my partner in crime, Yosef, is gone. And there appears to have been some kind of tussle here. You can see the footprints, and you can see on the ground, like, you can kind of track this situation. But you see these prints in this direction almost like a sliding dragging through the mud sort of situation I love this by the way letter that's incredible <laughs> okay we need him for our continued survival he's just inconveniently invisible rubber pigs and gur dude what's up yo hype in the chat is that a new um is that a new peep peeping out the chat? I I uh I don't we don't have any we haven't had any new new peeps in chat like all night actually. Welcome to the stream, dude. Hearts in chat, love in chat, smiley faces in chat. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Hopefully you're hopefully you're still here. <laughs> What's up? Everyone's so hyped. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Rubber pigs and gur is a great name. That's awesome. What's up? We're playing. Uh, we're role. We're role playing. 
something that the channel is not um really known for doing <laughs> but uh you caught us at a great time because we're really trying to figure out what the hell to do with the channel and just have fun with it so it's cool that you're in if you'd like at any point um rubber pigs in good to um participate uh and be one of the characters you can you can just say what the character does so um just listening uh i'm a i'm a bit of a lurker <laughs> no it's all good no it's glad glad you're hanging out if you want there's also a discord i don't want to put too much on you but read the thingy sent what's the thingy okay interesting okay that's not really where i was going with this but that is that is a possible fate that could have occurred but that's not really where i was going with it that's actually really good though that like that 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 i like hmm i like that i like that avenue but i i i, I almost wish i saw it earlier because i already had something else happen you know what i mean I, i'm not against that idea i just already kind of had a different thing happen If that makes sense. Um. But yeah, I mean, you you could. I mean, he's. You can check under the cart. <laughs> you can check. You can check the cart, actually. Yeah. How about how about that actually happens? Let's see here. So, uh, in the midst of the chaos, well, first Carlos picks up the lighter, the last living item revenant that he has left of his friend, um, and turns it on just to. To have some sort of light reminding him of his, his lost brother he has to find him he kind of looks around quickly just to see the damage of the situation and he looks into the cart and there appears to be these bottles bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and baskets of strange items almost like roots and berries and food, almost. Almost like some kind of meal prep. The bottles are not labeled. They have really scratched and etched labels on them. You don't really have much time to think, though. You're kind of in a panic. But this is just kind of your brief look at the cart. Um, Carlos, however, with his heightened sense of tracking, does see the direction in which he believes they may have gone. What does he do other than to follow? Why am I drawing him like he's a tiny little character? He's kind of, t I mean, he's four foot tall. He's not like a little monster. Why does he look like that? Why does he look like that? I'm kind of just doing stuff. He's freaking out, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know why he looks like that. <laughs> I don't know why he looks like that. Okay, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so, uh, Carlos, are you following this shit? Is there another plan of action? Any Carlosers in chat? If not, I can just keep going. Let me take a bite of my cream cake. Wait, wait, what are you doing? What's Carlos doing, bro? We can await the beast's return. Interesting. That's actually a really interesting concept. Okay. Perception. A bit of a perception check. Hunt him down. Try to find him. Um, so, the first thing you can tell from just looking at this is that it almost appears to circle back around the way you, so you came from, like, this way, say this is the house, you came from this way, right? This almost appears to go in the direction of the house. It almost looks like it's taking, um, taking him back to the house. You see a pair of footprints. 
and a bit of this like sliding almost almost like he's being dragged through the mist I was thinking Carlos lock in and find the horse interesting it's kind of a good strategy letter you guys have been you guys have some really cool like perspectives on what to do. It's really interesting having like five people play one character. The footprints are quite large. Sorry, I'm chewing. Chew chewers? Any chewers on stream? Yeah, the footprints are pretty big. Large enough maybe to be an orc? <laughs> Gil Chester. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what that is, I want to play it on the stream, but I really can't. After the stream, if you, if you think of it, well, I can put the link in Discord. But Kill Jester is this clip, and you may have already seen it. From this guy named Lemmy. Uh, and Lemmy does all these funny videos. You've probably seen the... But is, is something feather, heavier than feathers or whatever? Is, is steals heavier than feathers? He's that guy. But 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 that's what that's just the mainstream shit that he's known for. He actually makes like his own show. And he's pretty funny. And uh, one of his skits was The Adventure Zone. Which is like this kind of like fake D&D &D thing. Kind of like what we're doing right now. And one of the scenes is really fucking funny. And it involved... Yeah, here it is. Yeah, Wayward just posted it in chat. There it is. Thank you, Wayward. Basically, I don't want to spoil what happens, but... Well, I mean, I can't really not spoil. But one of the callers doesn't really, like, play along. And he basically hates one of the characters. And he just asks... <laughs> just the delivery of it is so funny. And he asks the DM to, like, just... He, he says what he wants to do is just kill the jester. And he just goes, kill jester. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I can't. It's not as funny when I say it as opposed to just watching the actual clip. Anyway, I'm done yapping. It's a funny clip. Go watch it. I'm thinking we got to follow the prince immediately. No time for horsing, though I'm okay with being vetoed. No, Wayward, you're too kind. You just, you just say, you just got to yap, and then that's what happens. That's what, that's what Narpler does. <laughs> no, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 look at Narpler. Joseph feels himself being dragged, panicked, and feeling trapped, and in the last ever to be found, he screams, Ah! Help! Ah! Uh, Carlo, you hear that. You hear that. Screaming from far away. Ah! In the range. And a huge bolt of lightning. I don't really have a lightning sound effect on standby, unfortunately. Yeah, I do. That's a lie. Uh... <laughs> Where is it, though? Where is it, though? <laughs> you nerd. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Well, it's not really much of a soundboard if you can't get to the sounds quickly. That's why I made the soundboard. I didn't finish it. I'm going to have it done next time. <laughs> More rain. Oh, whatever. You guys know what thunder sounds like. That was not worth it. Anyway... Strong acrobatics to get to get our ass moving. <laughs> All right, wayward. So, okay, I gotta save this. We gotta make a new chapter here. This is fucking crazy. Chapter four. This is so like, look how much. Look at this zoomed out, just so you guys can see this shit. <laughs> we should probably extend this all the way. It's nuts, dude. <laughs> all our characters. All right. 
Uh, let's go three. Just make more room. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, the scribblings of a mad oracle. Okay. Uh, without uh, a second to lose, you basically turn towards the screen and just start just booking it in that direction, right? I keep forgetting to draw your hair. Um. Hi. Uh, uh, Fire Lizard, do you mind making a Yosef AI art? I know it's... No, no, wait. Don't, 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 don't. No, ours is so much better. I... <laughs> You can make it for the Discord, but I can't. I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't want to show it on stream again, just because of the um, the stupid like checkbox scared me. But um, I just kind of want to see what it would look like. <laughs> but um, you don't actually have to. I loved your guys' way more. I shouldn't say that. Fuck. Fuck AI art. I mean, it's just. It's just funny. It's just funny. Anyway. Okay, you're good, you're good. My drawing kind of looks like Billy's dad. <laughs> yeah, it, does. it literally does. It looks exactly like that. It looks, ex it looks like exactly like his dad. Billy's dad. <laughs> That's, exactly, That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> That's too good. Yep. That's... Wow! The hairdo is really what sold it. And, like, the proportions of his head. That's funny as shit, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> um... Well, Narpler, um... You technically and... It's okay if you do him, like... Um... If you're into, like, just doing him, um... Uh, m mainly as the, as the only one, uh, like, at least writing about him, but you, you, Nar um, Gold and Cat all, c uh, control him, um, but, you know, they're, they're just a lot less vocal, I guess. Especially Cat, who has decided to literally abandon the stream and hates me. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, Cat, I love you. Hmm, yummy. Okay. You're booking it. You're huffing and puffing. And, um... You follow that shit. And that shit goes far, dude. You walk for probably what feels like where you're sprinting and you are so out of breath, dude. You definitely take a major hit to the dexterity right now. We got a minus one going on. You are freaking out. You've lost all sense of senses. I mean, we're looking at a minus one across the board. So this is technically, this is technically a minus two. That's how bad we're looking right now. This is dangerous. You're like freaking out, freaking out. This has become a minus one. Well, technically I should write this like this. This is minus three. What well, would actually be minus four. Well, no, we'll make it minus three, minus one. So it's total minus one. Um, but who gives a fuck? Anyway, you're fucking stressed out. That's the point I'm making. And you're following this shit, right? And there's fucking sticks, and there's mud, and they're struggling, too. They're struggling. And you see these fucking huge-ass footprints, right? Cool. As it leads back to the cabin, the dark cabin in the woods. Yes. And it leads around the back, an unexplored area. The moss looks like flesh hanging from the jowls of a beast. And the rain turns to blood in your eyes. And the worst thoughts run through your mind right now. That this dude is getting fucked. 
He is being murdered right now. Your homie. Dragged behind a cabin in the middle of the woods. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. There's a big ass door on the front of this thing too. I didn't mention that. It's got like one of those fucking old ass things. And these windows are like boarded up. Nobody wanted to get in this house. By the way, this is just like you looking at it. Also, you don't have your lantern. That's just gone. So like you, you can't see shit. <laughs> but this is like the rough outline you can make out, right? Um. Any uh, any um. Any uh. Uh, Carlos, any car, any Carls in chat? <laughs> Narfler still role playing. A character not on screen. Yo, we were what up? What do you want to do? In here? Round back? Explore? What are you feeling? Burn that door down. Okay. Okay. Don't give a fuck. Let's go, dude. We're about to bust out the flamenco. Right? I'm assuming. I mean, that's your fire move, bro. Oh shit, I forgot you have the fucking future mirror, dude. <laughs> we were sleeping on that. Holy shit. Oh, he has the lighter, right. Shit, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we gotta make, make a note of that. Got the lighter, dude. Also, just so we're all aware, it would not look like... In this time period, I don't think like a Zippo lighter was like invented, <laughs> but who cares? You like have a lighter that. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, wait. How the fuck do you have this? Wait, what? Wait, I like totally didn't even think about that. This is like mini. This is like medieval shit. Like you would not have this. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, how did I overlook that? Wait, actually, how did I not even think about that? No, like, you would not... This doesn't exist yet. Like... No, no, I mean, like... I don't mean, how did you get it? I mean, how would... Yosef had have this item? I just didn't even think for a second that lighter was... I thought Yosef had the lighter. Didn't he just fight... No, 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 I know. What I'm saying is, like... This item doesn't exist, like, in the world yet. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? Like, like the... <laughs> I mean, like, in terms of the technology. Like, like... G g g you know what I mean? This is, like, the 1200... This is, like, the 12... Like, literally, like, the 13th century. <laughs> like, like, all this other stuff, at least, like, it, you know, it makes sense, I guess. I guess it's magic? I mean, I guess... That's, that's all I was saying. I, I just didn't really think about that. It just works. I don't know. Okay, okay, fine. Um, fine. Uh, we're going to redesign it slightly. No, no, we don't need to redesign it. But the lore reasoning is that it, you know, it, <laughs> it uses magic. Okay. You, you basically, it's like the equivalent of like creating a fucking spark on your finger. But... Instead, it just creates it out of this little box. There you go. Well, we don't have the lantern. I mean, we were just freaking out. I, I kind of didn't... I didn't really... Oh, yeah, no, you. I guess you theoretically do have the lantern. And at no point did I ever, like, really have you, like, drop the lantern. I just kind of thought it was, like, in a panic you lost it. Alright, just throw the fucking lantern on this thing. <laughs> Wait, Fire Lizard. That's fucking genius. He saw it in the future mirror and decided to make it. For Yosef. That's funny as shit. Why did that finger look like that? It looked so good at first, too. No, it didn't. Okay. 
You get the idea. Anyway, now, now that we're done worrying about bullshit lore, sorry. Uh, but won't respond. That's okay. That's okay, letter. You're good. I appreciate you even being here. Oh my god! We have ten viewers! We're getting... We're getting... No fucking way. We're getting more viewers than than I when I when I stream Left 4 Dead. What? What? Dude, that's crazy. Yo, hype in the chat for the tenth viewer. I have no idea who it is, but that is actually super hype. That's you, cat, dude. That's insane. Oh, thanks, Gold. This is really fun, dude. This is actually really fucking fun. I had no idea how it was gonna go. I thought it was gonna be dog shit, dude. But you guys are making this so good. And I wouldn't be able to do it without you, seriously. I mean, I actually just, like, it wouldn't even work. And you guys are so cool, like, participating in shit. It's awesome. Okay. Back into the action. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude. Uh... A Narpler, I kind of want to as well. I think it would work really well for um for for next time. I think it'd be cool if we all had our own characters too. I think it really w it would be fun to basically have a a, a a stream. I don't know if if for this story, like I don't, I, I'm still in between doing. I, I I just don't know. I'm a little worried um about some of it because I don't know if it'll be like really weird. Um, but I also like think it would be fun. So I'm a uh, I'm on the fence about it. Let's just say that. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I think it'd be cool, but uh, I just don't know. I'm just happy that people are into this experience. So, uh, I'm sure we can figure out ways to do to do it. Kind of like Adventure Zone, where they call in. Maybe that would be fun. Like a mix? Okay, yeah. Mm. You know what would be really cool? Is if we could have like a voice message system. Like if someone could leave a voice message, and we could play it. And it's like their character in that voice. That'd be kind of sick, actually. <laughs> how the fuck, Cat Bear? How did you even remember that this character exists? I d forgot this character. I didn't even know who this fucking is. I mean, I know who it is. It's from Chowder, I assume. Cinnamini. Dude. <laughs> what a weird connection. <laughs> That's so strange. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is too fucking funny. <laughs> Look how shitty the quality just got. Wait, if you make it really tiny and then grow it again, it like loses all. <laughs> 24 bits, three bits, one bit. <laughs> Look at this shit. There we go. There's our, like, there's our, like, sprite for our video game. Can I, like, make this all white? Yeah, there we go. There, 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 there he is. <laughs> okay, alright, all right. We're done goofing. Okay, okay. <laughs> that looks like shit. <laughs> I ruined it. Alright, Wayward doesn't give a fuck. <clears throat> Carlos says, fuck this. <laughs> Throws the lantern right onto the fucking door, right? Who gives a shit? Kick this shit down. Boom. About to bust in here. All right. All right, Wayward. Get ready. Get ready for a test, bro. Ready? You have reduced stats right now. So this is on 19, my dude. We got a 19 right here. Okay. You're going to have a... This is kind of a tricky one, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna have to. <laughs> you're gonna have to um, remember the color and uh, number of the sequence, okay? So you're gonna have to remember. You're gonna have to write, for example, if the sequence is. Ah, uh, here, let's do a test run, okay? If the sequence is uh, four, five, seven, you're gonna have to write in chat. Yellow four, green five, blue seven. It's gotta be in order, okay? Do you follow?
Okay. All right, everyone. Wish uh, Wayward luck here. He's doing our... Uh, this is probably his second or third challenge. Here we go. Check my drawing I made for you really quick in a few minutes. Okay, I will. I can't wait to see it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ready? Wayward. Here we go. Memorize this sequence. Wish him luck. Three, two, one, zero. That's time. Okay, wayward. <laughs> Do your very best. I don't know how hard this one's going to be. You need to get one, two, three, four, five. You need to get at least five here. You need a five. No pressure. I shouldn't have told you that. I'm not going to tell you what the actual number is. How many you need. All right, see what you got. Okay, okay red one. Yep. Yellow three. Orange two. Green five. Light green four. One, two, three, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, he did it. <laughs> Round of applause for Wayward. Next time, I'm not going to tell you how many you need. I, I, I shouldn't do that. It, 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 would, it, would, it would make me biased. Um, I don't really know where the, the claps are. But round of applause for Wayward. That was clutch. Tried to lock in for five numbers anyway. Okay, yeah. That's. I don't know how hard these are. I'll be honest with you guys, because I haven't actually done them all, like, like on the clock. But I... um. Some of these seem kind of tricky, actually. I was trying to do some of them. I would say the spotted ones are actually probably the hardest ones. The memorization ones are like... You know. Actually, wait. We haven't even gotten to some of the crazy ones yet. I, I Thankfully, I have a ton of them. So, we, we probably won't run out anytime soon. Um, But, yeah. No, you did great. Oh, that was fantastic. So, Wayward, you got it. Okay, I'll get back into the story. Here we go. Holy shit! This is cats. This is cats. Hold on, hold on. I gotta save this. <laughs> mm. I thought that said me overthinking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. This looks like a cartoon character. I love the golden brown teeth. Yes, it is like the trivia murder party. Yes, the trivia. Yes, I was thinking about that. Yeah. I I, maybe I was. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Why are his eyes, like, 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 uh... His eyelids are, like, on his side. That's freaky. I love that, though. Oh, my God, that's so good. Let me decompress it. 24 bits! <laughs> Let's just bring it down a little. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dude, I love it, though. Holy shit. Let me just decompress that a little bit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. That's actually a great way to like, like pixelize a sprite. I never even thought of that. It's so weird. Look at the lump of purple hair on his head. I love that everyone's got different color schemes slightly too. We need more Carlos love. It's Dexter. Albalette de fromage. Oh, Didi, you. Oh, Didi. Oh, Didi. Made perfect plans. Oh, Didi. I can't really do his voice very well, but there you go. New jobs! Hold on. Yo, new job popping up. Let me peep it real quick. You guys know I sub, so I have to pop these. I have to peep these. I have to pop these. Okay, it looks like dog shit, and there's nothing. Never mind. Okay. I want to draw small characters. Use him as an example. I love it, dude. Carlos says AI or Thanos cannot be matched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, there's like no point in even making another one. <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. Holy shit. Oh, oh man, this is so fun, dude. Four hours. Four hours. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, it's one in the morning? Holy shit. Alright, we. I think we need a cliffhanger. I think we need a cliffhanger. 
I kind like I'm t- I kind of want to keep going, but at the same time, I think this is a perfect time to stop. I'm not gonna lie. You kick the door down, and the flames just burst into the building. Right? The flames just burst into the building, and you hear the screams of of your friend Yosef. Ah! Ah! Like sh- like sh- like you hear like gug 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 in the house. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, what is this shit? <laughs> what is that? You picture making me feel this one. What? Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, the teeth, I guess. <laughs> the flames. Piss fire from Joseph. <laughs> so good. <laughs> These are too good. Hold on, I guess. I gotta try to get this one in here. Look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> the flames. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> Alright, these are amazing. Yosef on the Moblin Goblin Grind Set. We could also use the D&D Dice website letter. That's crazy, considering that this is a no-dice campaign. This is a no-dice RPG experience. I've actually tried using the D&D website and it sucks. My computer like crashes, literally crashes. Like it, it cannot run like like web player things. I don't know why. It just can't like run them. Like it can't run like ever since Flash Player died, it just can't run them. Are you guys good to stop here, like as a as a cliffhanger and, and continue? Because I would love to keep doing this. Um. This is just a, um, a general question to everyone in the chat. You guys are good. You could tell me I could make something really stupid. I can stop here? Okay. All right. Wow. We actually spiked to 11. I can't believe that. That is so sick. All right. Let's pull up the lovely screen here. Let me save all this. Oh, this would be chapter five. Chapter five cliffhanger. Opening opening the door. Save that. Can I just say really quick a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who was here hanging out. Even if you did not participate, even if you just lurked on this shit, I am so happy that people took the time to just hang out and watch this disaster stream. Or what I thought would be a disaster, but actually turned out really freaking fun. I just, I didn't know what it was going to be. I had no idea. I made up shit literally as it was happening. Um, and we changed the rules as it was happening. But that's, dude, It w- I'm just so happy that you guys had a good time. I'm hoping I had a fantastic time. Um... I just want to say thanks. For real. Um. It's been gas. I think I'm going to turn our characters into specials. <laughs> yeah, wait, that's actually nuts. I'm going to make more art of my boy Joseph. Dude, this is so fun. Yo, Rubber Pigs, thank you for joining and hanging out. If you want to join the Discord too, you can. It's not that special. I mean, I, I like almost never post it, but I do sometimes post little stream notifications and I kind of want to start posting it more. Fire Lizard Dude, thank you so much for popping in and hanging out, dude. I'm actually really glad. I, I assume you got out of work and popped in and just hung out. I really appreciate it. Dude, I should, dude. It was so fun. It was so freaking fun. Oh, thanks, Rubber. I can out. Give it the little message. I'm sure I can see the little message when you join. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, I, I had such a good time. Holy shit. I can't, I, I definitely want to keep it going. I, I, I want to... Okay, here's what I'm definitely going to do. This is a promise. Well, you know, as best as I can. I got to have my soundboard done. Because that... Horror. Oh, God, don't say that. Horror, my, like, whole... Like, dude, I... You know I'm... Like, I, I literally, like... I was I was the kid who was playing in the D, like I who like started the D and D club. You know what I mean? Like I was that kid, and and I was so embarrassed to call it D and D. We called it something else. Um, 
I love D&D, but at the same time, I love changing D&D and, like, not playing by the actual rules, because I've told you this before. I, I don't love the way... Playing by the books, it's not fun for me. What's fun is just making up random shit and just playing for fun. But that's just me. That's just me. There is no shame to, you know, however anyone else wants to play it. But Because it's a great game. But I just, I've always wanted to do it. And I'm so happy that I could do it with you guys live. It's so, it's just definitely something I've always wanted to do. And I'm really glad we got to do it. I need an image of Carlos's dagger for the art. Okay, I'm going to put... Carlos and Yosef's character sheets. <laughs> character sheets. I'm just gonna save copies of these right now. And I can... I'm actually... You know what I'm really tempted to do? I'm actually tempted to make a... Separate category of Discord for the RPG. Which I can easily do. Like, it'll probably take me like two seconds. But I can do that later. I'm gonna actually make quick notes real quick of just... <laughs> little, little, little stickies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 uh, Soundboard. What did I just say? Oh. New, uh, RPG Discord. Um. But yeah, no, it was sick. It was really, really sick. I definitely want to get more immersion, though, in the music. Like, and fix some of those. Yeah, horror, I'm, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. It's, you know, it's okay. it's all good. It's like, yeah, it's the rule, the rule of things. I don't know. It's, uh, you know how it is. Um, where's my thanks? Thanks for hanging and chilling. I need my thank you. Thanks for hanging, taking a break. Thanks for hanging. Where, where, where is that? There we are. Oh, that looks good. Where's the wizard casting? Where's the book? The Book of the Dead. Yeah, this one's sweet. He's casting the spell. <laughs> this one is too good. They're just vibing. Oh, they're just a couple little goobers vibing. I can't, like, position them in a way that... Oh, yeah, this music. Let's go. Get this goblin bigger. Get this goblin bigger. Oh, yeah, the hand. Snap. Alright. He looks... He looks... He likes fire, not gold. Uh, did I put those in... Oh, I didn't even put those in chatting. I'm gonna put these pictures in chatting. Just so everyone has them. Um, where are they? Oh, I don't even know where those saved. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I actually have no idea where those went. Uh. Uh. One second. Oh, they're under. Oh, I literally made a folder for them. <laughs> what a goober. We got Yosef? And we got Carlos. Dude, the fan art is actually so dope. Wait till you guys get... Wait till we get to the meat of the story. Dude, I... Okay, I'm not trying to, like, flex or anything. I'm not trying to, like, flex or anything. Can you put all the chapters in one big picture and put it in Discord? That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. I can rearrange these slightly, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we can, like, have them as a giant, like, wall. <laughs> Here, I'll put them all in Discord just for now. But then maybe I could, like, make, like, a huge... Oh, wow, that actually looks kind of good. They're all, like, connected, kind of. <laughs> That's actually so cool. They look abhorrent, though. Like, you can't even tell what the hell is happening in a lot of these. <laughs> They're, like, pixelized pictures. Even the first one, you can barely tell what the hell is happening. It's funny, though. I love it. The character sheets also look so unhinged. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I have a teaser for the art... Uh, for tomorrow, I'm gonna have to paper to paper be cut. All right, I mean, yeah, I, I would. I mean, I'm, I would totally do it tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing anything. I finally like have a day off. I originally wasn't going to, but I mean, Golden, you rock, dude. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I gotta sleep. Yeah, no, for real. I wasn't originally gonna stream tomorrow, actually. 
Next time we do this, Carlos is gonna need to be more Carlos with no with his syndrome. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. See, this is the, this is what I was kind of talking about. Like, it's so hard to remember. Like, like Carlos has all these things going on, right? He's got his catchphrase. I'm actually a little disappointed. Gave you a day off. They gave you a day. they gave they gave you a day off. Well, no, no, no. It's just Saturdays. I just don't I don't work anymore. Like, not at not at the thrift store, but you know. I don't work on. I don't work at my other job on Saturday, so I finally have like a day off on Saturday, which is nice. Um, they didn't give me one. No, I, I earned that day off for myself. What is going on? This is belly dancer music. I'm gonna have to whoop Yosef up and say his catchphrase. I, I know. I really thought someone would say the catchphrase at least once. I mean, that's kind of the fun of the catchphrases. At least the invisibility thing happened, but. <laughs> And Narpler's got a pretty good uh, Dungeons and Dra like Dungeon Master story sense. I mean, there were some moments that I really appreciate you adding Narpler that like I wouldn't have done that I loved. Um, all I had for Yosef was a green highlighter. <laughs> I really love the custom art. Like that's actually so sick. <laughs> yeah, Narpler, for do you have the you have the Dungeon Master blood running through you? I can sense it, bro. I can sense it. He's taking over my days off for stream. My days off for streaming replacement. No, I. That's the thing, though. I don't. I don't. I only stream once a week because I feel like every other day it's just it's insane. Like I, I don't even. I don't know. But maybe like yeah, maybe tomorrow or, or like Sunday we could do like a little uh, like a short little like a little just a little sesh. And especially since now we have the kind of the ball rolling and grooving, then it might be a lot smoother you know we could probably get a lot more done because we probably spent the first hour and a half making the characters which is fine because that was fun as hell i mean hell we can make another fucking character i don't i don't care <laughs> it's kind of fun it's it might even offer more uh people to want to uh kind of chime in if they feel like it's like oh well here's this is my character i kind of need to but at the same time i i, I kind of like it being that like three or four people control it i actually thought that worked pretty well for the most part because then if someone's just here in chat, they can just keep, you know, controlling the character. It's fine. And then everyone who wants to just watch can just watch. But then, worst case, the only problem with it is, like, since no one owns the character, it can kind of, that kind of group, like, what's the word? Like, group um, mentality where it's like, oh, well, uh, hopefully someone else will step in. But it shouldn't be, like, a chore, you know? It should be, it should be fun that you want to do it. I don't know. I don't, I'm, really, I'm, I'm kind of over, I'm over, I'm over yapping. I'm overthinking right now. too bro bro um i appreciate it i'm gonna re i'm gonna return on him kicking the door down and saying that phrase like he's austin bound <laughs> hey baby hey mama you're gonna have to whoop yosef up he's taking over my man i genuinely can't wait oh yeah well i'm i'm happy you're into it narpler like i said i'm not 100 percent sure about tomorrow but hopefully maybe either tomorrow or sunday i'll let you guys know i am off tomorrow so i mean i'm not doing anything else so maybe yeah but um I know, uh, I can do a sneak peek of an emote. Ooh, can I show it on stream or no? Is that a sneaky sneak? <laughs> Wait, that's actually fucking amazing. That's incredible. Oh, I'm so freaking jealous of your emotes. God damn, dude. Oh, it makes me mad. It looks so good. All right. Well, here's the thing. We'll keep it a secret. But I'm gonna drop a little. I'm just gonna drop a little, in case anyone doesn't know. We have a couple new streamers in the house. I hope you don't mind, MLG Smegma Master. But we got MLG, our very own Wayward, who is now streaming, which is really exciting. And we have our lovable, huggable, squeezable. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Furry friend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just dogging on you. Cat Bear, who is a legend of streaming. Hold on. It'll be fixed. And has streamed well before um, myself and is kind of the pro here. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I may change it someday. <laughs> Smeg Master. Um, but, uh, check him out. They're great. 
You know, you guys know them. They're cool. They're cool guys. You know, they're cool. Um, uh, uh, today, Cat was playing uh, some Terraria, like, 3D thing. It looked crazy cool. And then um, Wayward was doing, uh, he's been doing TF Classic. TF2 Classic, sorry. Um, which is super entertaining. And then also, you should play Half-Life, right? You play, like, a weird Half-Life variant. I didn't, know, I didn't even ask you what you were playing. I just, I was just painting, bro. Dude, that painting was crazy. Oh my god. Should I flex the Nighthawks? For seven people who probably don't give a shit. Your mod system is around. Flex Nighthawks? Alright, if I can find it. God damn it, this is good. Oh shit, maybe I didn't take a picture of my updated Nighthawks. Yeah, I don't think I have a picture that's decent. I, here's the old picture. Here's. Ah, I hate the old picture though. Hmm. Yeah, no, it sucks. I don't know. I, I, I'll take a picture of it. Uh, it's in. The, it's, I had to turn it into the drawer. But if I get a chance, I'll show you guys later. I had to recreate the painting of the guy in the, the diner. And it was really fun. Um. Well, fun. I say fun. It was actually miserable. <laughs> Flex it. Just like my shitty haircut. Dude, I, dude, join the shitty haircut club. The shitty haircut club. The shitty haircut club. Um, my haircut sucks. I, I, I have a hard time liking it ever. So. The treasure master theme. This is way too intense for what we are doing. We're chilling. We need chill music. But yeah, we're pretty much winding down. Uh, I don't really know what the plan is, but, you know, uh, we're going to figure it out. Let's see Code Jockey's keyboard. <laughs> no, you actually don't want to see that. Paint all over my keyboard. <laughs> it is paint, I promise. Um, I, I touched my space bar with a white paint. I was tempted to leave it because I thought it'd be aesthetic. But it was, um, no, I got rid of it. So I'm going to toaster in bathtub. What? <laughs> God. Okay. Let me cut your hair. Ooh. Are you a hair a stylist? Are you going to butcher me? Let's give him the Azrael fate. Horror. It kind of is intimidating, though, because I've seen your crazy hairstyle. It's wild. I don't. I don't know if I'm that. If I'm that like ready for something that you know. Uh, what's the word? Intense. I, mean, I have. You know. I, I might. I could dye my hair, maybe. But I, I feel like I, what, what would even be a color to dye my hair? Fire lizard. Have you ever dyed your hair? Or uh, like any of you guys actually? Cat. Wayward. Anyone who's left here? Have you guys ever dyed your hair? Yeah, 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 horror. Give me the Asriel fade. <laughs> God damn. Ugh. The Asriel fade. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that. Cat, of course, Cat has. That makes sense to me. I had a friend bleach my hair. Letter did not. I bleach my hair later. Weird. I dyed the tip of my hair neon green. Uh oh, be careful. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that is a, that's a pretty crazy one. Dude, I cannot believe we hit 11 viewers. This is nuts. All right, I gotta stop focusing on that. That was, that was cool. I went from cocoa brown to light brown with some red, dude. That's pretty sick. One person at work with hair like mine isn't tough. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, we, I want to step on any toes here. You, you're the only one who can pull that off, too. You make it look good. I had, like, ha hazel brown tips with the curls. Girls loved it. Ladies love it. Doctors hate it. Asriel fade brown with the golden tips. One time in high school, a uh, female touched my hair and like, 
visibly cringe and it like literally is my core trauma because <laughs> my hair was so greasy and fucked i always had problems with my hair and like shampooing and shit and she does i swear to god she like rubbed she's like she's like oh you silly like rub my hair and then she like looked at my face and i was like and i had like a sheer like distortion she felt the lice. That is not funny. This is some shit you never forget. For real. That's like, yeah, anytime like a woman, I feel like, uh, well, okay, it depends. Anytime a significant other, um, someone you're interested in, a crush, anything. Like, stuff, like when you're young and something like that happens to you, it like, it just like, it sticks with you fucking way longer than it should be. <laughs> Not for I love you, man, but like, reel it in, brother, reel it in, dude. <laughs> that's that's too real, though. I bet they do. People love my hair floof. I bet they do, bro. Dude, curly hair people got it so good. Fuck, it makes me mad. My hair is fucked. Like, I gotta hate it, dude. Was it like Johnny Bravo? Hey, uh, baby. Uh, me, Johnny Bravo. People say I look like Carlos. <laughs> I love that Carlos and Yosef are our two, like, canonical characters. And then this spooky guy. And then Terrence. And Terrence was the most, like, unfleshed out character. <laughs> I literally, okay, uh, here's the funniest part. You, you guys are gonna love this. So when I'm designing, like, the, like, story, right? I wrote, because I'm trying to come up with, by the way, oh, shit, yeah. Okay, so I was trying to come up with, like, names for everybody. For Terrence, I wrote, I just wrote three, and I just thought one of them might sound good. I, like, I, like these are options, right? So I wrote Terrence slash Hans slash Rorik. Rorik. But he's Terrence. I mean, I think Rorik probably works a lot better considering that he's an orc. I did not plan that he would be an orc either. That was totally, um, what's the word in Improvise. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. The fun of that whole experience is like the improv improvisational like bullshit that goes on because obviously you guys are writing like all your own choices and shit, and then it turns the story in a different direction. Like I really like that. Um, yeah, like it's fun because the planning is like I'm kind of trying to plan like the jet like the world at least, but it's cool that like you can kind of like interact with the world. Like I don't really love stories where it's like like D&D campaigns where it's like and I swear I'm not trying to, I'm not just trying to flex I'm just trying to explain my process I really don't like stories where it's like okay this is the story here's what the characters are doing I'm just never a fan of that like because the characters might be like you you have to play you know you have to I feel like as a good DM you've got to play to your um you got to play to how your audience wants to play like if you're if you're playing, if I'm playing with Gromit and Fire Lizard, and Gromit turns to Fire Lizard and tries to choke him and murder him, then that's what's gonna happen. I mean, that's when we played. That's what happened, and it dictated, kind of dictated the story. Which, yeah, that's not really what you planned when you sat down. You were like, "Oh shit, okay, I got all this this stuff that's supposed to happen, all this shit, and I got this lore, and I got this story." But then, like, that's just not what the like the players are gonna do at all. I mean, I'm playing at, uh, at my at my uh, with the kids I work with um, on Thursdays, and they uh, like they're like we're splitting the party, we're splitting the party into multiple parties, we're splitting the multiple parties into multi parties, and there's like eight of them, like nine of them keep joining, and I'm like, dude, this is insane, this is insane. How, what, like, how am I supposed to manage this shit? I, I'm literally making up the story, like, like as it's unrolling, because they're going in so many different directions, and I, I haven't decided any of that shit. I don't know what the fuck's in this area. I just made a general decision in my mind, like, okay, there's gonna be a giant spider at some point, and they're gonna fucking, they're gonna split the party 500 times, and they're gonna find it. Like, you know what I mean? It's just funny. But then sometimes it's good to actually make a decision in your mind. Okay, there's three doors. There's this behind this door, this behind this door, and this behind this door. And like, not just make up like, oh, 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 you, even though they went this way, they conveniently found this, you know? I don't know. I'm kind of just yapping, I'm not gonna lie. Always take input over the railroad. 
Yeah. 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 Of course. I think. I think. If you are on the train and the railroad, the whole thing. That's just a movie, basically. You're just playing an interactive movie, and you're rolling dice sometimes. <laughs> you know, that's just whatever. I, I could go play Dead Before, not Dead Before Daylight. I could, what's that game, Man and Medan, and, and and all those like story games where you pick five choices and those are the main choices that matter over the course of the whole game. And look, those games are fun because they are kind of like interactive movies. But but that's not, I don't know. It's whatever. Are these two characters part of the Kojo collection? I expect lots of emotes. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Kojo, the Kojo brand, the whole making code, <laughs> that does not have to be the priority. Like, yes, I love doing that shit, and that's just me. Like, I love coding. And that can still be part of all this, but like, and I'm love to get your guys' input, but I am so down to rebrand as like do whatever the fuck, like just play what we want to play and play. I mean, we fucking play Fistful of Frags every night. <laughs> Which, by the way, I mean, if anyone wants, no, I mean, <laughs> we're down to half viewers, but it is like 1:30 in the morning. I need to eat food, so probably not looking to fist some frags tonight, but. You know, I'm always usually down to fist some frags, let's be real. But no, I mean, honestly, yeah, like, like, Cat, like, he, he just does whatever. He just streams a different game every, and then, like, today, you had, like, eight viewers, dude. You had, like, eight viewers. I feel like that's cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, Letter, yeah. Super unbalanced and pay to win. That's unfortunate, because when it came out, it looked really, really, like, cool, like, well, I know they updated the shit out of it and added tons of DLC. But the, like, design seemed really... It seemed like it was... The core of the game was really well balanced. Like, the monster, the killer, and the, and the you know, different... All the characters and then, like, the way they, like... Without any special ability, without any extra bullshit. Just designing, like, five, ten different, like, uh, you know, monsters. Or, like, villains, whatever. The game was awesome. That was, like, the first game that really, I think, really ex ex excelled at, like, 1v5 or 1v4. And I wish more games were 1v4. And I've always wanted to design a game that's 1v4. Yeah, Cat. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. No, I thought it looked... It went really well. Yeah, you guys stream whatever. <laughs> no, that's cool. I like it. I mean, I don't know. I just... I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to, to just do whatever. I found a TF2 copy on the App Store on my phone, and it's okay. Interesting. That is very interesting. Again, Narpler winning the award for the most interesting person who writes in chat. Mayor of Yapsville. <laughs> okay. We should do a trio stream. Okay. Here, one sec. Shit, I keep hitting that button and it I don't know what it's actually doing on my stream. Weird. Um Yeah, that would be dope. Oh, hundred percent. We we definitely have to. I was I was just thinking about that today. I was like, honestly, this could have been a trio stream. I mean, you know. Well, well maybe not this, this the first one ever, but it could it could have easily been. <laughs> I was just about to say that, yeah. Like, I mean, you know who I really want to get streaming? Well, he's he is dabbled. He's dibbled and dabbled before. But Fire Lizard, I think, needs to get those feet dipped. Needs to get just just plunge headfirst into the streaming, the legendary streaming squad. Cause 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 Fire Lizard, Wayward never streamed, and 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 um he just started getting into it, and like he's going hard, and he's already got like five six years, and since. You know, we're all, like, kind of helping each other out. We can just flood the chats. We can flood the chats and flood each other's videos, and it'll help boost each other up. Like, we gotta look out for each other, you know? Yeah, Fire Lizard. Uh, we play... Fire Lizard plays TF2, yeah. 
for sure. And Narpler, yeah, I mean, do it, dude. There's no better time to start. If the sooner you start, I feel like the better, the easier it is to like build the community, right? Because look, I fucking, have, I, no one would know who I was if I hadn't made the freaking Left 4 Dead stuff. Like the videos a long time ago. <laughs> the, the group, the tourney. Holy shit. That'd be fun as hell, dude. The magic tourney. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if you're still here, Fire Lizard, but you should totally do it. You should stream it. Highlander, oh yeah. We're six seconds with viewers. Six seconds with viewers? What is that, like seven seconds in hell? Seven seconds in heaven? Seven minutes in heaven. I don't know, I'll have to see. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Oh yeah. No, I'm hyped. I'm super duper hyped. Six V6s. Oh, sixes. Right, right, right. Sixes. That'd be fun. I actually, you know what I think would be really fun? I've always thought this would be fun. It's threes. Threes or fours. Like, kind of like, more like Overwatch, but like, less. More like Apex with 3v3s. Those are fun. And I really wish TV, T, TF2 had like a 3v3. Built into the game. I mean, yeah, there's not that many class. Like, it might be, it might not work because of the class, like the way the class system works. But I think it'd just be fun anyway. Cause, cause it would be more meaningful if you die, you know, if you're down two people, then it's the one v three. It's it'd be fun. No class stacking. See, that's kind of cool. Then again, I like class stacking. It's fun. You do like four heavies. Class is locked. Only one per team. Oh, I didn't know that. Somebody commented on my last video. I have a skill issue. No, but you, you gotta. You gotta silence the haters, bro. In your, well, in your head. You don't have to literally silence them. I mean, forget the haters, bro. I, luckily, have not experienced someone to come into the chat and start hating. And if they did, I, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I have some, some pretty some pretty hardcore mods I'm sure would take care of it. But even then, it's like a oh, weird freedom of speech thing. I was just having a conversation with, about, some, with someone about this that, like, Someone's dogging on you, right? It's like, on the internet. And it's like, yeah, let him dog. Let him yap, let him bark. <laughs> you know what? I really learned that lesson when I made my first Left 4 Dead level and I had a lot of yapping on that. I had a lot of tears, anger, hate mail, like, fuck you, this level sucks ass. <laughs> and But then I had some love, too, to balance it out. So it, it really helped me, I think. Letter, yeah. I mean, if you get haters, you're growing, bro. But yeah, dude, getting like getting roasted the fuck doesn't feel great. It sure, it certainly doesn't. Skill issue. I mean, you just gotta laugh about that stuff, dude. That's when you write in chat like, one v one me, nuke town, headshots only. That's when you leave a comment. That's when you reply to that. That's the comment you reply with. Half the people are, are half the people are mods here. That guy would be dead. <laughs> he would be shot dead. I'm like I said. I I I may have already said this. I'm more. I'm always more worried about somebody chat coming in and like writing some crazy shit. Closer to something racist or homophobic. But then again, I mean, I'm sure someone would just delete it. Like I I, I would. I know you guys would. You guys wouldn't write something like that. So I'm not worried too much. I don't really know what I'm worried about. I guess. That's why I, I gotta stop worrying about just shit. One v one Roblox, let's go. That's what you tell them. It doesn't help that like half my subs are just my friends doing it to make me angry. Well, that's Gromit, haha. That's like his whole thing. <laughs> but he does it out of love as well. He has some interesting friends on Narpler. You gotta, might wanna, you might want to check yourself on the friends because it should be out of love in a way, or out of jest, you know they really are your friends if they're not and they're doing it to like mess with you and because they don't like you and then that doesn't sound like much very friendly to me I had someone drop some sussy link in my chat yeah don't worry about it I have one out of a hundred yeah they're just silly oh okay yeah, well, there you go just silly little guys um anyway you guys are amazing uh I loved doing the Left 4 Dead build the build the special streams too I don't want those to end 
but I, I this was super fun and I don't want to stop this um, either so you know why you know why not why, why you know why 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 pull why stop throwing coals on the fire uh, why stop throwing heat on the engine let's keep it rolling and um, the special ideas aren't going anywhere so they're always there for when we want to design more um, but yeah this is really fun um but uh yeah I think that's probably it <laughs> I really appreciate you guys hanging like for real I I think this is something I've wanted to do for a really long time this experience it's not about the money spider man it's about sending the message over here okay kill that guy <laughs> I love when he says that in, into the spider verse <laughs> and he's like <gasps> and he runs away and he's like kill that guy that's like my favorite part <laughs> okay yeah Kat you do what you gotta do man if you don't if, if I you and me can talk about it too cause if you have a plan and I don't have a plan we can talk about it but honestly don't even stress because I <laughs> probably don't have a plan and if you guys are streaming and playing i might want to just i might want to just take a breather tomorrow and then maybe maybe i can do some sunday um but i kind of hate doing it sunday because i have work usually really early the next day so maybe i, could, I stream for like two hours tomorrow who knows maybe it could be like i don't know sunday's your day okay 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 Business, Metro, Boomin, make it boom. Business? I don't have a business. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm working Sunday. I don't know if I want to do Sunday anyway. That's that's that that's letters. That's uh, Wayward's day. Um, I forgot about that. Actually, I'm sorry. So it's gonna be tomorrow or, or bust. Can't do Monday. Ah, that's not true. No, that's totally not true. I can do Monday, too. Because Monday is, um... Ooh, yeah. I could maybe start doing Monday. If, uh... It could make the Mondays a little less scary. Yeah, but it'd be, like, late, you know? You good, Slime? If it's Sunday or Monday, it's all Gucci. You good slime? If it's Sunday or Monday, it's all Gucci. Okay. No, no, you're good, though. You got Sunday. I don't want to do it Sunday anyway. I can't. Stay until, like, 4 p.m., maybe 5. Monday's perfect. Ooh, okay, letter. That helps a lot, actually. Yeah, I might do Monday. I might actually add that to my... Uh, I might add that to my stream schedule. Monday stream, question mark. Because sometimes I'll have homework and then I can't, but that's fine. Like, I'll just let you guys know. <laughs> Trust me, going home by yourself. Okay. <laughs> TMI, but yeah. Um, this what the fuck is going on in, in the fucking code jockey chat right now? We messed up. Gotta go bald. <laughs> That's my haircut. <laughs> my haircut, hero. <laughs> I'm gonna toast her. No, God. I can't read the freaking chat out loud. That's insane. I mean, you know me. I stream whenever and at whatever time. But Friday and Saturday are for sure. Let's go, dude. Hey. Hey. Hey, kill that guy. <laughs> I want that. Um, dude, I got okay. I gotta make the soundboard. I'm, I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. That'd be freaking sweet. Damn it. Okay. I'm a goofy. All right, guys. Goofsters. G gal, goof, goofing and galling around and 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 g g romping and pomping and flooping and grouping made up words all right that's got to be it thank you everybody for chilling for everything for supporting me it's actually dope as freaking heck kojak signing off over here um i don't know why i just did that later bro it's been real i am leaving you guys rock. You're amazing. Five-hour stream. Damn. Five-hour stream. Done. Five-hour stream.
in the tank, uploaded, re-uploaded, edited. I would totally consider editing one of these two. But honestly, the whole thing is kind of like, like it would probably get down from five hours to like two hours if I was going to even edit it. So I don't know if it's even worth it. Who the fuck's gonna watch two hours of this shit, dude? But uh, maybe, may I don't even know. I I can't think about editing right now. Let's just go nay nay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. All right, you guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later. Have a great night. You're amazing. Bye.